keeps it little dead crazy taxi three gazy taxi gazy taxi taxi. we're on the go taking queers out of here (laughs) god christ what is this this a fucking fucking prager you version prager Prager you edition of crazy taxi (laughs) (laughs) dennis prager oh my god Uh, dennis prager has uh covid that's the news that's the only bit of news we found <laughs> this whole Period, fucking dude. week. <laughs> Unless we wanted to talk about Kanye's awful hair, which is not really it's that fucking, interesting. Yeah. That's just bullying. He might be going bald, you know, let him be. He's I, no, no one's he's going not, bald though. like that, man. Sometimes, bro, you never know. You get a, <laughs> sometimes you get you get bit by an animal and you get sick for a little while and you fucking balding, you know? He's going bald like a it, it, his head looks like a topographical map of the Grand Canyon. It's like <laughs> It's a mess. If he, if he was going bald, I think he would wear a fucking like hat or a beanie. He would wear something stupid. He would, he would wear that mask that he fucking put on. That oh fucking God. Uncle Fester Mike Myers mask, whatever the fuck that thing was. I he actually, would just like. I, I really want to go bald in the middle of my head, you know? Like my hair grows as full as it normally is, and the middle's bald because that'd be crazy. Because I don't even see it. Yeah, because you're so tall. Even see- I'm tall and it's so full of it. They'd be like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. As soon as you started balding at all, you would fucking freak out. Who, me? No, I wouldn't. I don't care. Yeah, you would. Every, every, every mm-hmm. man does. Nah, bro. Every you're, man. You may, you're talking about yourself, bro. I don't care. If I didn't have my hair, I just didn't have my hair. I'd be bald. Ask your bald fucking friends how they felt when they started losing their hair. Go ask them. I have like maybe a bald friend. We have Whisk, right? That's it. Whiskey, yes. And Whiskey and rocks go- it, bro. He rocks the red beard. Of course beard he rocks it. Now looks- ask him. When he started balding, how he felt. I'm a different breed, I'm bro. telling it you. It won't bother me. Hmm? It won't bother me. I, I know you say that now, but it's like a lot of people say, like, oh, yeah, I fucking, I wouldn't mind. I think I can take getting shot. I think, I think oh, you know, oh, you know no. people are. I mean, people, you know people are. I, I've never, <laughs> you know I've never said are. that. I've never, I'm, not, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I think maybe I could, like, I don't think I'd die from getting shot, but like, well, I, I don't want to get shot. it depends on where you got if shot, If somebody right? shot me, like, in my fucking shoulder, I'd be like, well, that hurts a lot, but like, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Let me propose this little hypothetical. Yeah, like, if you, if somebody was like, listen, you could, uh, you could have a life where you never go bald, but the caveat is, you have to get shot once. Yeah, I wouldn't take it. You wouldn't take it. You wouldn't. Be, you wouldn't be. Sh- you wouldn't get shot for the chance. Can you choose where you get shot. Bald. It's not a fatal shot. It's just a, like a. You just so you could experience the pain of being shot. If it's like getting shot somewhere where it wouldn't like affect me for the rest of my life, yeah. like say I have permanent nerve damage or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. They shoot you um, right in the head of your dick, man. Right I, in the well, head of your dick. I don't know man. because even even when like say you know. My my hair is partially receded on, but not enough to where it bothers me. But like, say, you know, otherwise I would just because people thought like I was actually bald because I'd wear a hat all the time. But I was just like, no, I started wearing hats in middle school and I never looked back. Yeah. And uh, and even before that, I would always just shave my hair down. I'd always be like buzzed and very small. So it would I already know what I would look like bald. So I guess it wouldn't bother me. So I wouldn't get shot. I feel like it's just a win win at that point because you get sh- here's the thing. It's not, you're not going to be crippled or anything. It's just going to hurt like a gunshot. And then you're going to have that experience. You're going to know what a gunshot feels like. And you're never going to go bald. That's like two privileges, in my opinion. Like, it's like a... Privileges. Yeah. The, the privilege of getting shot. Well, it's I not... I the fucking privilege. It, it's not going to <laughs> cripple you or, like, damage you permanently. It's just look, you get look, to experience like, the feeling and you know what it's like. You get to say look, that you can take a gunshot. You know, Look, my hair, I think my hairline has not changed in my life ever. It's the same it's been since I was like maybe eight. Yeah. You know, maybe when I was younger, yeah, it was you, like you, here. You, you know, no, was like, I, I'm pretty sure it's the fucking same. <laughs> it is right here. Can you imagine? Your fucking I starts no right forehead. above your eyebrows. <laughs> you got this much forehead to work with. <laughs> but for me, I don't care. I just don't care, man. Like having like I love having my hair like I'm going to. I'm going to cut my hair again and I'm going to go with the flat top. But like, I don't. Yeah, like, I just I I'm just curious because like, you know, I, I see because I've talked I've talked to very many people that it's like uh, the, one of the, uh, a big example is any of the celebrities now that were bald. And now that technology is pretty good. They're not bald anymore because like all of them were fucking just it bothered the, it bothered the shit out of them that they're like, fuck, mm. man, I used to have a luscious head of hair. And now I'm bald as fuck. Cause me, I'm I would just shave it off because I'm already used to it. 
Yeah, like, fuck I, it. I, I uh, think the thing about being bald is that it's just, uh, I feel like it's just probably boring to be bald, you know? It's like, it's not really, you don't get to really do any, like, part of, I don't know about you, but, like, I think, like, sometimes the most interesting thing that happens is your hair changes, you know? And you're just like, yeah. ah, I'm rocking this now, I guess. And it's like, my hair when you're has bald, you're just bald. Most of my life. No, I've that's not braids. true. That's not true. I've, I've seen you braids. have, I've seen you with different hair. Like, even in the short time that we've been in, like, Los Angeles. Chris, what? Different hair. It's you, either really big and looks like a mess, or it's shaved no, down. No, recently you had like the... the or I the, had a flat top. Flat top. Okay, I had a flat top for a little <laughs> recently bit. Recently you had the fucking, you know, the Fresh Prince thing. <laughs> and that was fun, yeah. I guess, but like that wasn't really... That's not like a big move. I'm gonna do it again, actually. I'm getting a, I'm getting a very specific haircut for <laughs> Halloween. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, then I'm gonna permit. I'm gonna shave you know. my head like a flat top that I'm gonna perm it flat, and it's gonna be like straight hair going over my eyes. <laughs> that is disgusting. Here. You know what you should do? You should. Uh, oh man, ah, I should have thought of this. I already picked my Halloween costume, but like, uh, if somebody, I- I'll be really sad if nobody in our group goes as Buff Carell and does like the whole like matted down like fucking. Oh my, yo, his hair looks insane. He puts so much gel in his hair. You can see the gel container on his desk. I think it's fucking Vaseline. <laughs> he just Vaselines <laughs> and just combs and combs and then it's puts it down crazy. and he eats it. He eats it till he gets stuck. Do you gotta admire that he has a fucking poster of himself on his wall? He you gotta, does. You gotta he looks, admire he that. looks great in the poster too, man. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah, he does. Like he's he is definitely someone we gotta take care of as like a species. You know, keep Buff Carell going. Yeah, there needs to be a government-funded program to make sure that he's safe and, you know, taken care of. Like, without a doubt. Like, I would, I would be totally fine if, if my tax money went to that as opposed to, like, I don't know, like, blowing up a Middle Eastern child every couple days. Like, I think I would, yeah. I would sign off on that, you know. Oh, 100%. Money. A lot 100%. of money. Look, all I'm going to say is that, what else are those kids doing, you know? <laughs> oh, what my God. They, what do they got going on? <laughs> all right, <laughs> well. <laughs> what do they got going on, you know? Or playing with sticks and rocks That's and shit? Too far. Fucking, <laughs> You've gone too far. <laughs> what was that? We were talking about Dennis Prager getting COVID, right? Wasn't that what we were oh, talking yeah, about? Yeah. So Dennis Prager, for those of you who don't know, he he runs Prager University. Is that that fake college? I'm pretty sure. But <laughs> it's like, uh, are, are you allowed to call yourself a university if you're not a re- like? Is that a real school, Prager? You? I don't know. I Can honestly, I don't know if it, some people. I don't probably. know if it's just like say you know like you, you're you the the bank uh the Federal Reserve. There's nothing federal about it, and it's just like in the name, you know what I mean, like FedEx or some shit. Wait, it, maybe it's not a university, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. but it's just putting federal it X. in there. <laughs> Pra So here, <laughs> Prager, Prager well, Federal Express. That's what FedEx is. So Prager University is not an accredited academic institution and does not offer cert- certifications or diplomas. So it's not actually university. It's just it's like just a, the name. Yeah, it's just the name. It's, it's not even a real name. school. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So that's that's what I was saying. How these you have these these fucking companies using federal in their name, but they're not a part of the government. Like, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. So everybody, just you know, send your fucking send your money over to Reagan University real quick if you want like a really proper education. That's what uh, Donald Trump did. That's what Donald Trump. He uh, he had that air quotes university. Oh yeah, that's right. And then, yeah. he, and then he uh he as soon as he became president, he was like, oh, I'm gonna give this to my son. <laughs> Dude, and he Dennis took a bunch of donations for no reason. Was Dennis, Dennis Prager, Prager? Was Dennis Prager in that weird group of like? Did you ever see? You guys ever see that video of the the conservative like round table thing with all those like? It was like Ben Shapiro and like I think like no Matt way. Walsh and people, and they were talking about how like Barack Obama destroyed rock and roll. Or whatever. No, that sounds awesome. Though. <laughs> what? That sounds fucking amazing. So there's what this. You say? It's like Ben Shapiro, uh, Matt Walsh, uh, totally looking this some up right fucking Michael Knowles, I think. Like like all these like weird like uh, you know the, the 2019 thing. I, I don't know how recent or how old it was. I, I'm sure if you Google Ben Shapiro, uh, Obama rock and roll, it'll come up. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> It just sounds so stupid. It it really <laughs> it's a funny fucking I love it. I love watching conservatives talk to each other about how crazy they are. It's so beautiful. It's not even conservative specifically. It's like television conservatives. 
Uh, it's like a very specific because mm. because Colin is conservative and he doesn't talk like these people. It's the weirdest. Oh no, he's a real. He's real. It's the. He's a real person. It, it is the strangest group of people. It's like yeah, because rock and roll was about uh, white male angst, and Barack Obama said you're not allowed to feel angst anymore, and and then it went away, and it's like what. I don't. First of all, I don't know. I don't remember. I was a. I was a young white child <laughs> when Barack Obama was president. I don't remember getting that email <laughs> where like we weren't allowed to feel pain. Or and now you, you can't feel angst anymore. So now I went away. It's well, gone. uh, le let me be clear. Uh, three days grace uh, needs to stop. We cannot. We cannot have any more uh, rise against. We can't have any more of the uh, of the slip knot. No more uh, panic Anyone, at the disco. Uh, even my chemical romance, romance more like my chemical. No more. Uh, no, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my a, dog here, Bo. A, a band. Me and my dog, Bo, hate rock and roll. <laughs> right, Bo. <laughs> ben Bo. Bark. <laughs> bark. 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 <laughs> what if? It, what if his dog had his accent? Bark, 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 my master, bark. Um, I can say the N word because uh, my my owner's black. <laughs> I'm gonna say it, <laughs> man. <laughs> can a hook? Yeah, a dog. Uh, as a <laughs> Chris, don't think about that. That's an, that's, that's an interesting premise. What if you have a white dog, if, but your owner's black so, is part of a black so, hold family? Hold on, hold on, hold on. He can say this, the hold on. This is a very real question now. Do you guys remember oh one? God. Do you guys remember uh, 100 Good Deeds by Eddie McDowell? Or whatever the fuck? That's, that show where that kid turned into a dog and he had to do 100 Good Deeds to be turned back? No, no it I sounds don't. awful. You don't remember that? that? Oh my God. Wait, hold on. Am I making this up? I could be making Maybe. this up. Hold Eddie on. McDowell, that sounds like an old guy. Is that, I swear to, be to God, please, someone. There was, a, there was a movie called um, The Big Dog with, uh, what's the name of the guy? Uh? Tim Allen. Tim Allen. That's, wait, a, that's wait, the Shaggy wait. Dog. Shaggy Dog. Oh, sorry, Chris. My bad. Fucking Mr. I know Shaggy Dog in the back of my he head. Knows, he knows <laughs> all the dog movies. This motherfucker knows all the dog movies. You guys haven't Chris read Hotel reason. for Pets. You guys are a bunch Sh Shaggy of Shaggy Dog. Fuck you. You guys, haven't, you guys just haven't read the fucking Shaggy Dog Grimoire cards. Listen. A grimoire. One, <laughs> there's magic involved. 100, 100 Deeds for Eddie McDowd. TV series. 1999 to 2002. IMDb. Uh... A bully is transformed into a dog that must perform 100 good deeds with the help of a shy classmate. <laughs> it's, it's a real show. Imagine turning into a dog and your family's looking for you and they're like, where's my son? He's gone. Oh, my God. And then like a few months later, you come back home. And you're like, Mom, I was a dog for a while. We got to start treating dogs better, bro. They're really, they're, we're re they're really badly treated. Yeah. Your mom's like, you're crazy, and they put you on a psych ward, but that happened to you. That is what would happen to you, inevitably. <laughs> like, that's like when, uh, in Jack Frost, when their, their deceased dad became a snowman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That whole, that, that whole tip. That really sh shone a, shined a light on, I think, how we treat snowmen as a society. You as know? a society. We're really abusive towards them. We kick them, and we fucking rob them. <laughs> I would be. I would abuse a snowman. How would you not abuse a snowman? It's just sitting there smiling at you. They, they really frowning. are. A snowman really does yearn for abuse, doesn't it? It's like the. It beckons absolutely. to be abused. Yeah, I'd absolutely. be every snowman's ass I could find in the general area. I've no never seen a snowman that I didn't want to fucking just absolutely decimate. What are you smiling at? De Derek's smiling. I just, Look, just that, I was just skimming through that fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> just like I, I can't it believe it's heart. real. <laughs> it's it, warm, it, it, like... it has the worst fucking CG fucking mouth words talking and shit. And I'm like, just don't make it do that. Like, it yeah, it's, it looks yeah, so fucking terrible. They should have just went the the homeward bound wishbone route where they just sort of like had yes. a disembodied voice talking. But yes, this is. I will admit, this does sound like a show that I would like gaslight everybody into thinking is real. But it is right. a real show. And so the question here is, is this, this is a philosophical question. The dog is inherently a slave to its master. That's what oh a dog God. is. They're not. Can a white child Careful. transformed into a dog, if it's owned by a black man, does he have an N-word pass? If he's a black dog, no. He no, he can't have the Enterprise as a dog. But it, the Enterprise but no. doesn't reflect towards what dogs. It reflects towards question? people. But if it's a person who is now a slave animal. Okay, well then you got to figure out a, a dog slave version of the N-word, but not the N-word. <laughs> I feel... 
<laughs> yeah. Oh man, well, this I, I'm I'm gonna let you all talk amongst each other with this one. I think it's a I think <laughs> it's a reasonable question. If my family oh, saw was okay. talking about mm-hmm. this, they would be so upset. They'd be like, I cannot believe you guys are that. I, I raised you to be better. Fine, no, like you failed. <laughs> Fine, we'll 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 leave it. We'll 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 push this Urine to the side. And feces. Urine. I'm, I'm Dennis Prager. I'm Dennis Prager. And I have COVID. Have you ever seen a baby that you liked? No. No. <laughs> babies. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> babies are stupid and evil, dude. The uh, the the Prager you YouTube poops are like the only like I I hate I can't stand Prager you. Dennis Prager is an absolute shithead. But the. Like those YouTube poops single handedly justify his existence. Like without like there's Couldn't that one more. there's one specifically that I think Derek showed me like a long time ago. Yeah, it's called good old P U. Yeah. That's the that's the name <laughs> of it. <laughs> it is one of the best like it still makes me like belly laugh, like to this day. Like it fucking <laughs> kills me. I've seen this one. This one is ridiculous. It's yeah. It's fucking great. There's <laughs> it's another so one where well I, I found I found another one where the guy found, you know, the sentence mixing. It's so brilliant. But he, he made him say, tie me down and fuck my gaping asshole. Like, he <laughs> made a baby underwater. Prager, you say that. <laughs> if you hold a baby underwater, dies. the baby, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, baby dies. fucking dies. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's such a good video. It's such a good video. Yo, it's don't so go great. to Prager U, but like look up Prager U, bro. Like good old PU. <laughs> the YouTube poops are so are, are genuinely such some of the best content I've seen on YouTube. Like still. it's great because the the content that they talk about in Prager U <clears throat> makes it just a great for sentence mixing. Like all the like saying shit like the N word, urine and feces, and just communism, all in the same fucking video. It's like I have so much material to work with. And, yeah, and it, I, I think. I'm so glad that he exists, and and uh, well, he may not exist much longer since he has COVID. But oh yeah, that's right. We'll see. We'll Yo, see. Unless I mean, he he might get, he might uh, inject the the horse pace into his eyes. You know, maybe he'll survive into his eyes, happens. and he screams real loud, and he's cured. <laughs> Hold on, we can't call it horse paced. <laughs> it's not horse paced. You can oh, get no. it. You can get it from a doctor. Right, you can get a human version. <laughs> a human I mean, version of horse ho- pace. You can get a human version of horse pace. <laughs> Maybe if you're a coward. Human version if you're of one of them pace. yellow belly I cowards, saw, I, you're so, going to get the human version of you. So I saw, like, that's the one other thing that I saw. I didn't know if I wanted to touch on it or not because I'm, I'm not really familiar with it. But, like, I saw Joe Rogan talking about how, like, uh, yeah, they lied about me taking a uh, horse dewormer or whatever because he was taking ivermectin or whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. And... I don't know, man. Like, I saw some of the clips and I was like, yeah, it's not really necessarily right to call it that. But at the same time, it's like, I think the point is that it's just not for COVID. Like, you can't take ivermectin for COVID because ivermectin is a parasite thing. It's a dewormer. It's not necessarily like you can get it over the counter for people, obviously, just like anything. It's like people can take like increments of horse tranquilizers but they're still fucking horse tranquilizers and it's like mm-hmm. covid isn't a parasite so you you yeah. can't take obviously. it it's obviously for that it's like that's and so you you gotta sorry no like, no, no go ahead go ahead i was gonna say you gotta question joe rogan's doctor that would be willing to prescribe uh the human version of ivermectin to uh to defeat covid and he also had to question his doctor because he also got prednisone which prednisone is for inflammation, which yeah. lowers your fucking immune system. So if you're trying to fight a fucking virus, you don't want to take prednisone. But here's the thing. He's rich, so he has Regeneron. He's got the monoclonal antibodies, just like Trump did. That's what <laughs> fucking helped him. But everyone's talking about this stupid horse bullshit. Yeah. And, 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 he, and he's playing dumb. Joe Rogan's playing fucking dumb. He knows that it's the fucking Regeneron that fixed him. And furthermore, when he's saying CNN fucking lied, they didn't lie because he never clarified that he took the human version. When he came out with this stupid fucking video, was like, I took this and this and this and that. He never said, I got it prescribed by a doctor. This is the human version. Dude, the fucking horse version skyrocketed after that video came out. After Joe put that stupid video on Instagram, it skyrocketed. (laughs) 
That and is, so he's like, they're lying about me. I'm like, no, they're not. You never clarified, bitch. That is like, fuck. that is a good point. Like they, the horse version specifically, like people, people were actually going to, I think like farm, like, 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 uh, the places that like facilitate farm equipment and, and farm, uh, yeah. you know, I, I don't even know what the proper word is. Like pharmaceutical, yeah, well, pharmaceutical shit. I don't know. Cultural shit, pharmaceutical. Whatever. Yeah, pharmaceutical yeah, with bullshit. an F. But like, it's <laughs> it's it's very clearly like his fault for not <laughs> specifying like what he was taking because a lot of people yeah. jumped to the first conclusion that they found, and the first conclusion that they found is like, hey, the primary use for this thing happens to be an animal dewormer. So I think it's yeah. like, look, I I, I get it's annoying, like Damn. especially because if people can. It's not necessarily unfair to assume that, like, if you hear somebody say that, especially, like, Joe Rogan, who's, like, rich and probably, like, he, he, I don't think Joe Rogan's an idiot. So, like, it's fair to assume that he w- he's taking the human version. Like, so I could understand maybe his frustration with people misconstruing. But at the same time, you have a show where you have said this thing and that led to wrong thing being bought by millions of people. So, yeah. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a situation where nobody's necessarily nah, the smart that's not, guy. But here's, that's not his fault. Here's the thing, though. That's not his fault. If guess, people are dumb look, enough to do dumb shit, then they're I, dumb. I, I, I just, here's the thing: when when you when you have a platform that big, you, it really does beg the question: Do you have a responsibility? Like, do you have? Do you, should is, is are you morally obligated to be responsible when it's that fucking big? Because when you have that many people that are li- that are you know the, that are listening to you and they're taking advice from you. And here's the thing, like, I've been listening to Joe Rogan for quite some time. COVID broke him. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> happened to him. He's out of his mind now. Because before this, he's never given fucking medical advice on the level of saying, oh, if you're in your 20s, you shouldn't get vaccinated. Like, he's straight up just saying that. Or taking a fucking article about chicken vaccines and saying it's about COVID and spreading a fuck ton of misinformation. And the fucking guy that wrote the article, the doctor, the scientist or whatever, was like, hey, motherfucker. Like, he's some, he's some fucking uh, Australian bloke. He was like, Oi, mate, you're killing people. This is about chickens and shit. Like, however the fuck he talks. <laughs> and I was just like, this is incredible. And then people are like, preach Joe Rogan. And I'm like, ah, I'm done. I was like, I'm fucking I, done with this I, shit, I, I think I'm done. I understand what you're saying. But at the same time, I'm just part of me... Annoyed. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I, I, part of me would say... And this is not the most moral thing. But <laughs> if there Fuck are people, niggas. if there Fuck are em. people who would hear Joe Rogan say, I took ivermectin for COVID, and then they're like, well, I got to go to the farm feed store <laughs> and buy buckets of ivermectin, mix it in with my fucking protein shakes, you know, dump it in a butt chug this shit at a fucking kegger. Like, at a certain <laughs> point, I almost feel like it's, like it's morally the right thing to do to get as many of these people doing this shit as possible. I I'm, look, 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 I'm let, let me look, just, wait, no, look, look. No, I'm just okay, saying. Okay. Let me let me <laughs> no, let no, me no. be the let me be the middle ground because Chris is obviously the darkness, <laughs> no, <I guess. laughs> and then Derek is the light in the situation. Let me be the middle ground, okay? Let me be the, the ahead, middle the middle ground person, okay? I wouldn't say I'm the smartest tool in the shed, but what I do is I research things. You gotta have oh, some shit. sort of understanding. If I heard Joe Rogan was taking this thing, I would like, oh, what's this called? I'd look it up and I'd be like, hmm, that's for horses. And then the next thing I would do, what I would look for, is it for humans? I'd find a human virgin. I'd do that. If you are taking, if you are not doing enough research about what you are putting in your body, not even food wise, because food wise takes too much time to do research about food because food goes all over the fucking place and there's things yeah, from everywhere. Yeah. But if it's medicine, you have to at least know what you're about to put in your body. I'm a person that doesn't use medication or medicine at all. Chris has seen me like have serious headaches and I'm just like, nah, man, I'm fine. I'm just going to wait till it goes Insanity. away. Insanity, but whatever. That's your prerogative. I was going to wait till it goes away. I'll be fine. Whatever. I didn't use it before. I'm not using it now. Like, that's why, that's why right now, if I took a Benadryl within 10 minutes, I'd pass out. You just I die. I can't. My body's not used to it. It's terrifying. Look, look, look at, I just want to say something real quick to Chris's point because <laughs> oh my I God. normally, no, 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 no. I normally agree with that 1 billion percent. 
It's in this particular thing. And this is what I've been saying about what's been happening recently. We've always known how stupid people are. We've always known this. But we never thought that it was really going to have a consequence and effect like any of us in our bubbles or at all. People, right, stupid people doing stupid things. What I'm saying is we would completely be out of the pandemic if it weren't for these fucking people. Nah, and let that's those the frustrating die, man. part. Let them die. Let them die. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see, find like, a the way. The thing is what they're not doing. They're not dying at an alarming rate. They're spreading this shit more. It's not going away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, beyond that, any other time I'd be like, if you take something, if you ingest poison and you die and you get sick, I don't give a fuck. This is affecting other people. That's that's the fair. only reason why I'm bothered. That is a that's fair. It. That's the only reason why I'm bothered. Can I just say how perfect it was that Sweeney started his uh, his whole like argument or or his whole section of this conversation with, "I'm not the smartest tool in the shed," <laughs> which is like <laughs> an <not>. amazing. <laughs> It's it's the truth. I'm not. But there are no there, there are no I'm smart. Not t- it's the, the sharpest tool in the shed. I see. I fucked it up. <laughs> it's so perfect. I you love know what's it. funny? Uh-huh. Well, I didn't even notice. <laughs> exactly, because most people don't notice. I'm well, not the I, I, did, I tool even turned it in my head. The fucking all star song from Smash Mouth. Exactly. That's what it is. I'm it's not just, the it's smartest, just, it's just smartest tool in the shed. It's, it's just smartest tool you in the shed look now. and kind of cum with your finger in your cum and your bum. And you're cum, there's cum on your forehead. There's cum on you your You don't forehead. stop coming and you don't stop coming <laughs> don't and you stop. don't stop coming and you just keep coming. You keep, keep coming and oh. coming. And <laughs> oh my God. I have never had a topic a come up so organically before. I what just remembered about? that th- the guy from Smash Mouth went insane at a concert this week. Oh yeah, and they're done. Right? Yeah, they're done. What happened? What ha- wait, whoa, what, what happened? He went on What's some on? alcoholic rant. About, about like what? I, I don't know. Like they were trying. They were at some concert. He finally or was like, "Fuck Shrek!" You know, you finally came out and said it. No, he didn't say he did? that. No, he would never say <laughs> no, that. Damn it! <laughs> they are they are Shrek basically. Um, <laughs> <That's dumb. laughs> you can't separate the two. Hold on, you wait. Don't what stop what happened? You just keep coming. <laughs> wow, that was coming just. You just keep coming. Get it in my bum, and then I start running. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna come. I'm about to come. I'm coming again. I can't stop. I'm coming. Dude, that was actually so. It was I actually fucking so die. fucking perfect because like we didn't write this story into the news or anything this just genuinely did happen it was just genuinely organically brought up but uh, i'm reading a report here on uh i don't know new york post which is like not the most reputable source but this actually did happen so it's like big deal whatever but smash mouth lead singer steve harwell no longer a part of the band the 54 year old rocker is retiring from music to deal with his physical and mental health steve has been dealing with long-term <laughs> medical issues over the last eight years blah, 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 blah. what did he say he said something hilarious that i'm trying hey, to now i'm a booze hound like, what, what do you say? I'm gonna no, come uh, again. I gotta come. I'll fucking kill your whole family. I swear to God. <laughs> I said that to some somebody in the crowd. Hey, now I'll kill your whole fam. <laughs> I swear to God, man. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill your fucking dog. I'm gonna take his body oh, to and he, and your he said, wall. And he, he, said, he said something like, uh, "If I could masturbate better, I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave. I wouldn't go anywhere." <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's just it was so fucking if funny. I couldn't masturbate better. I would never go anywhere. That's the fucking most man f- statement ever. That is the statement legend. of a man. That, right there. Dude, he's not even fucking bitches. He's just like trying to figure out how to master masturbation, and he's like, "Fuck, I need to go out and and seek more information." Like he's looking for the masturbation Buddha or whatever the Buddhist. To teach him, and then he'll stay home forever. I just love the idea of the guy who just sang the Shrek theme, basically. Just masturbate himself into a coma, bro. (laughs) He's just dead. He's just Hey, now. I'm jerking off now. I'm jerking off again. I'm going to do it one more time. My hand hurts. So I'm going to use the other one. Is the mysterious (laughs) person. Hey, I'm going to keep you in my dick. I'm just gonna keep be in my dick. Uh, they said they said it appeared that he he did a Nazi salute, but I actually don't think that's true. I think he was like I think I think he was like I think he was like, so. he was like waving his moment. I think he was drunk and he was like flailing his arms around. But everything else, it was like <laughs> he just flailing his arms and then boom. Yeah, he was like, one I don't know. Of <laughs> hey now, I love Hitler. He's, he's just he's drunkenly screaming and he's like flailing around. And then suddenly, like real, <laughs> real organic. Just, Real, st- <laughs> real strong. Then it just, just goes back to fucking cranking and yanking. 
Oh man, but that's oh, a very real thing that, that happens. So Smash Mouth is gold. Smash Mouth is uh gone. They're dead. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> they died. It's, I'm so sad. Now who's the all star? So I don't Shrek. I guess he is. Shrek's the runner up. <laughs> he, what, he replaces that piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Shrek now. They gotta digitally render him in, and he plays a guitar and sings. You know, be, you know, be hilarious if the rest of the band took like a group photo, but they use that Instagram filter. Uh, with, oh, with, yeah. Where, where yeah. Shrek is like he hold he, like he's like kissing he's, like, you, caressing or you and shit. Yeah. Dude, I'm fucking annoyed. I did that thing as just like, oh, I'm going to do this real quick before I fucking play 2K or whatever the fuck I was doing. And then it like blew up on Instagram. And I'm like, damn, man. Anything else that I'm really trying to promote never hits. Oh, yeah. It's, no, never, it, 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 it's never like it's never you like a video. You can't, expect, you can't expect the Internet to care about I, things they should care about. No, yeah, they don't care you about care talent. About. <laughs> I, I, I've been working bullshit. on I've been working on these two videos for a while now. and by like the big video is almost done it's like 30 minutes or whatever it's taken me ages i know it's not going to i know it's not going to do super well uh but i did this tiktok like the other day that is now like my phone just doesn't like if i have the notifications on for tiktok it just like doesn't it, it doesn't shut the fuck up it's exploding and i'm like of course it's this thing that i thought of in like a minute and recorded in like maybe five max that explodes <laughs> that I did because I was bored while I was taking a break from doing the thing I gave a shit about. God damn it. You can't expect don't them you, to you care. They're not, they're not, they're not there all the way. Like they're not all the way, you know, yeah, <laughs> it's, I mean, I it's get the it. internet. It's, <laughs> it's just how it works, it. just, man. Yeah, I get it. It's just sometimes I see like, uh, like I will see like a musician with something, a clip of wh- whatever they're doing blow up. And I'm like, damn, Hopefully I can get one of those. Never, not once. And then like I've the, the dumbest shit that I've done, like where I, I pretend uh, there was the after image you can do. We can like clone yourself. And then I pretended to suck my, suck my own dick, whatever <laughs> that fucking blew up until uh, TikTok uh, took it off. They, they, it was violate. It was violate. It was stupid. Cause I'm just in my fucking boxers and I'm like, yeah. how does this fucking violate anything? It was just implied fellatio th- i didn't even do anything that yeah i, I remember i said <laughs> that was actually a fucking funny video but like the there's so many like basically naked people on tiktok it's insane oh, of like oh, of I, I come across it all the fucking time i'm not complaining i'm just saying that it's, <laughs> it's not there. complaining or looking exactly i'm not exactly no, no, i'm not exactly uh, like okay. constantly <laughs> staring at it but I'm just saying it's there. So like I did a, I did something. I did like a Shane Dawson the video game sketch with like the Life is Strange music because everybody's doing that weird like you know the the Life is Strange meme. And I was like yeah, I'll mm. just do Shane Dawson the video game and I and I did like a whole joke about it, like ah uh, ah uh, I, uh, I better I better glaze my cat with my semen ah uh, the cat's not gonna come on itself or whatever and it <laughs> and it got taken down for nudity. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it is just chris, me chris chris were you naked no Let's be honest be honest <laughs> i did promise you have clothes on? <laughs> did, you have, did you have your shirt and pants on i wasn't naked but i didn't have clothes on <laughs> you just were you just donald ducking it you just had fucking a shirt on <laughs> <laughs> no, like fucking... Yo, no one says shit about that. I don't get how no one says a damn thing about Donald Duck walking around with only his fucking shirt on, no pants. A little piece of shit. Are you kidding? Everybody knows. Everybody knows Donald Duck is a pedophile. Everybody knows that. He clearly hangs out. You know, you know why? You know why his voice is like that? It's because he's been kicked in the fucking throat by children every day for the rest of, from for the last like fifty years. <laughs> He's been kicked in the throat. So, oh, I, can't, I can't even do the Donald Duck voice anymore. He used to sound. He used to sound like uh, like uh, 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 like Hellboy. Like he used to sound like uh, what? what's his fucking what's what his do you name? Mean, like uh, the clay guy. Wait, that's uh, it. Ron, Ron Perlman. Yeah, Ron, Ron Perlman. Perlman. He used to have a silky smooth like Ron Perlman voice, and now now he sounds like that. But he's being kicked in the larynx hey, by I'm children. Donald Duck. <laughs> I'm Donald Duck. What's going on there, Goofy? <laughs> You want to talk about Mickey some more? Or you want to go get these kids with me? <laughs> and Goofy would always be like, Welp. Uh, no. I, I have, have a, a child of my own. <laughs> yeah, I, I have, have a, a child son. of my own. I don't really think that's funny, Donald. I don't, I don't support. Oh, you're a bitch. <laughs> you're a bitch. Matches doesn't want to fuck. 
A yuck? <laughs> oh my fucking god. All, All right. right, yuck. Maxi, stay home. Don't go over to Donald's house. He might try to assault you. <laughs> and then Donald Duck walks up to to Max, and he like he whispers in his ear, "I'll kill your whole fucking family. I swear to God." <laughs> yeah. If I can masturbate, if I can masturbate hey better, now. I'd stay home. <laughs> That's a real well, statement. Well, kids. Well, 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 well. <laughs> You know they had other songs, right? They had like one other song. No, they song. don't. No, they don't. Just they got like, like that song and that's it. They had they had one other song. Uh, walking on the sun, right? Yeah, yeah. You might as well be coming on the sun. You know that one? <laughs> you might as well be coming on the sun. <laughs> yeah, that's real lyrics. Yeah. I, I didn't even I, change anything. I do remember that. It, they also did My that God. weird cover of uh, I'm a Believer. That's right, because I was in Shrek 2. That yeah, was in, yeah. That was, in, yeah, that was right. right. Well, them yeah, then I came on your face. And now bam, bam, I'm a believer. Bam. Yeah, nah, I can come even more now. I can come real <laughs> careful, fast. Careful, careful. You can't say I come can or else come, you're going to be come. banned on TikTok for nudity. I, I know, right? Come, <laughs> That's right. Come. Yo, yo, yo. Um, <laughs> about Shane Dawson, I don't think we He's mentioned back. this. D- did you know that he got... No, fuck. I don't care about that. Um, he on uh, Somebody hacked his Spotify. Did you hear about that? No. What does that mean, though? Dude, they, somebody, well, someone hacked to Spotify and they uploaded a song. Dude, it's a fucking banger about what fucking this cat. Is it on there? No way. I completely forgot about this. Is it on there this. still? I downloaded it. If it's not, it might be on YouTube. Oh. Someone, I'm sure someone re-uploaded it on YouTube. Whoa! Oh but like, I had no idea. Dawson. Dude, I completely forgot. Uh, also, I would have mentioned it. It's a fucking banger. Dude. Shane Dawson cat song, I guess. <laughs> It has to be it. It has to be it. I, I'm not it's seeing fucking, anything. You know, all, it's all auto tuned and everything. Ah, uh, someone might have taken it off. Let me let me look, let me see. Shane. Is it called "I Fucked My Cat"? Yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wish. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it is. at? There it is. It's called "I Fucked My Cat." It is. Oh my god, it still has the various artist topic. <laughs> it's still up there. This is the one that I downloaded just to, in, just in case it fucking left. It went so under the radar, bro. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> this sounds like heat. This sounds like heat. Wait, wait. <laughs> we can't. Well, dude, oh it's, man. it's not bad, this, dude. This, this is so. Well, I guess if everybody who's listening to the show, you can go find this. It's called. It's called "I Fucked My Cat" by Shane Dawson, but not really. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you'd find it. Yeah, you can find like a little one on YouTube, and uh, it just, dude, this went crazy under the radar. Yeah, um, I, I because, didn't know about it until just now. I forgot about it. The reason, the, the only reason why I uh, we were actually, uh, I was what well, I was prepping for uh, a swing in our show, and I was gonna, I was, I was gonna do a hip hop theme of some horrible shit that I've heard, and that oh, was man, one like of the sicko, things. Like I was Dicko like, mode, the best song uh, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Dicko mode, my actual favorite song. Well, most of the things that I found were like just horrible white people ra- like r- r- rapping, like just oh, the man. worst shit you've ever heard that i'm like dude your 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 spine's actually gonna fucking like just collapse from like I'm that much of a like break i'm gonna break i'm gonna fucking <laughs> fold it on myself <laughs> dude i fucked my cat it kind of goes hard man it, it doesn't it, <laughs> it's like a pretty good trap beat too and like it got some sense in there as well like they're like Look, man, Shane, I don't know, man. You might as well want to. You better admit you did it so you can get this fucking shit behind you, bro. They give me some good songs. <laughs> yeah, because if he didn't do it now, he sucks. <laughs> I can't believe Not someone even. actually did that, though. Like, they fucking hacked in there. Like, you have to. You have to. First, you have to find out who's his record, who he's going distributing through. And then you got to find that fucking password to get in there. People, <laughs> like, that's, that's pretty are incredible. Per- People yeah, and those are, are and those are like irritating passwords too. Like that, that's not, that's like not a super um, that's not like a super elegant system that a, a lot of uh, these back end distributors have. Like it's it's kind of you know not great, but that's yeah, that's a great it. that's good hacking. Like that's a good hacking prank. It's not like oh I fucking you know redirected all your funds to Al Qaeda or like oh I yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Could you imagine, too? Dude, Shane, Dawson, so crazy. Shane Dawson's dirt poor. He's actually been funding Al Qaeda. <laughs> crazy <laughs> taxi. They've been grooming, <laughs> grooming been, him to be the next Bin Laden. <laughs> grooming him. It started with the fucking cats, man. You got to fuck a cat to become a real terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking. That's the, requ- that's the only requirement 
You like, do do you hate cat. America and do you <laughs> want to fuck a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh my god, bro, this is amazing. I love this episode so much. <laughs> it's a pretty, so oh, by the way, uh, by the way, welcome to the Snark Tank podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even do that. Hey, look, it's a little dead meme. <laughs> oh, welcome. <laughs> Oh it's 40 God, minutes man. into the fucking show. I totally <laughs> forgot. We got so yeah. immediately thrown into the best conversations you could possibly hope to have. Fuck, but, man. Yeah, go check cat. out I Fucked My Cat. You know, it's a real banger. Um, You know, uh, by what, what does it say on Spotify? It says, like, by Lil Radio or yeah, something. Yeah, Lil the, Radio the Gamer. Hacker, Lil Radio Gamer. Yeah, that's the hacker. That's so know. fucking funny. That's an awesome <laughs> name for a fucking uh, an artist, Lil Radio Gamer. <laughs> that's, that's... Oh my god, Shane Dawson, Lil Radio Gamer, Chase T seven eight three, the Godly PTG. I love it. I love it. Just terrible names. Fuck you, Shane Dawson. Your life's over. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> God damn. Well, he just put oh, out man. that weird fucking thing that I didn't watch because I, you know. Oh, why? What, what is it like a comeback thing or something? I think what it's a, an attempt, but it's literally just him doing like his ghost hunting shit. He's like, I'm in a fucking house with a ghost. And it's oh, like. Oh, God, really? Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't watch it. So I don't, I, wish I, harm on, I don't wish harm on him particularly, but like I want someone that does that one day to be found like mangled, like somewhere random. <laughs> oh, like, I, I want all of them. Dead. That's Absolutely. a ghost, right? That's a really <laughs> angry ghost. Yeah, I also want to be like, clear. Like I don't hate Shane Dawson. I don't know him. I I, I can't find, and I I don't really know what like there. Sometimes <laughs> here's the thing. Sometimes things happen with internet people where a rumor goes out of control. And then people believe it. And is this fucking a cat thing? Did he come on his cat? I don't know. Probably not. But it's funny. So yeah, I'm rolling great. with it because I like that it's funny. But I can't hate him. I don't know him. I've never met him or anything. We should do but, a ghost. We should do a ghost yeah. hunters episode of Snark Tank. Like when we're all in the same area one day, we do like a ghost hunter snark tank. What would we and do? Then like, like I don't know. We go to like some place that's like ob objectively not haunted. <laughs> but we do like a bunch of fuck shit like we rent out somewhere you be like oh my god i think i heard a ghost would you there's gonna be someone yelling the hard r real loud would you be <laughs> would you guys be down to like finding like some like haunted like place renting it out and just recording an episode in there just yeah, for shits it's and definitely giggles not haunted though, well no like, it, it has yeah. to be a haunted I place mean, otherwise it's, it's it can't it's going to be a haunted, be a haunted place, but it's not actually haunted because that's not an actual oh, right. thing. Exactly. You know, so. It's not an actual thing until it's a real thing, you know? Like, you know, you, you, like, yeah, like, like you the know, Taliban. All the, ghost the Taliban <laughs> wasn't a real thing until they fucking put shit in motion. Are you fucking <laughs> comparing terrorists to fucking ghosts? <laughs> They're fucking both terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> They are both terrifying. They both make They're good both Halloween terrifying, costumes. Terrifying, man. Yeah. They both terrorize. Okay. 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 Uh, they do terrorize. The fucking the, the fucking Scooby Doo is fucking. They find a terrorist. I think they would wait. It's Did a fucking. They take off the mask and then it's fucking Osama bin Laden. It's all, you're not dead. I've never been dead. Then he blows himself up with the gang there. You know, as, and as that's how they die. As <laughs> far the final episode. <laughs> as far as the English language goes, a ghost is kind of a terrorist. Okay, I mean, it's not a political it, terrorist, but I guess it is a terrorist. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a political or a zealot, a zealot, a zealotrous terrorist. There's no zealotry involved, but it, it's still yeah. terroristic. Yeah, it, it guess, terrorizes. It, it is, yeah, it is terrorizing. I just, I guess the definition of terrorist is tied Someone to political, political, you're, you're terrorizing for political um, gain. Well, how do you know that ghost demand. doesn't have fucking opinions, bro? That's actually a good point. That's a very good point. Yeah. You know, like they could be yeah. the, the ghost of a fucking terrorist. <laughs> the, ghost mean, of, the ghost of, the ghost of, imagine <laughs> the ghost of uh, fucking Dennis Prager <laughs> comes out of nowhere. It's just like <laughs> paternity Could leave you, is a sin. Ooh. The ghost. Ooh, of don't masturbate. 
Could Can you imagine, you imagine a conservative ghost where you're just like you're trying <laughs> you're good you're trying to sleep and then some fucking figure sitting on the on the edge of your bed? It's like I noticed you've been sinning with your penis by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Here are three easy you... steps to refrain from masturbation. Oh my Number god! One. Can you imagine an evangelical fucking a ghost? That's scary because those niggas are insane. Bro. Abortion well, is abortion scary. is a sin, even if you simply drank too much sugar by accident and the baby died. <laughs> 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 what you've done, you see, what you've done is terrible. You attended a BLM march. You are part of the problem. <laughs> and it's just like, and then it Whoa. fades away like fucking Casper. <laughs> it jumps in the air. Ooh, and it just like goes back. <laughs> Casper, the neoconservative ghost. <laughs> Casper, the neoconservative <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. That's the one that needs to be drawn. So that's Casper the one I need to see. <laughs> Casper, the transphobic ghost. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he's but he's actually properly afraid of trans people like he doesn't treat them differently he doesn't have these <laughs> jarred views yeah he's yeah. scared of them yeah like he thinks uh <laughs> he thinks dave Chappelle's most recent special is a ted talk and not a comedy show <laughs> <laughs> this is very good i, I must greet this. dave Chappelle, and then dave Chappelle fucking dies because he's so scared from seeing a ghost <laughs> he scares Dave Chappelle to death, and Dave Chappelle records something hella funny before he dies, and he dies. You come out, you're, shou <laughs> you're showering, happen, right? You're you're showering, and it's and you come out of the shower, and then your mirror's all fogged up, but like it's written on the on the. It's like, uh are you triggered? <laughs> on, on, on the fucking phone. On the steam. <laughs> I just saw some guy fucking saying some shit about being triggered because uh, he he wrote a diatribe. Essentially, an essay, a thread on uh, on Twitter about speed runs. Like a lot oh of God. radical leftists are are do speed runs. He's like, I noticed that a lot of radical leftists do speed runs, and he was like connecting it to oh their lack of hard work and all this shit. And I'm like, holy shit, that's that yeah, that's, that is insane. Do you remember back in the day when like the main the main criticism of a lot of like you know left type content and especially in like 2015 2014 was the fact that they turned everything into a needlessly political battleground that didn't need to be political in the first place yes that is exactly what that is that is the exact it's, same thing it's like if you're looking at somebody who speed runs and thinks like mm, must be a leftist because they don't want to do hard work it's like you're fucking out of your mind first of all speed running is insanely hard you have yes. to, literally the, the amount literally. of yes. the amount of discipline it takes <laughs> to learn again. Look, I, I have plenty of games that I love dearly. Like I I love Halo Two to my core. I have no fucking clue how to speed run that thing. I've played it well over a thousand times, probably at this point. No clue how I would get through that game in like an hour. Like I have no idea. Yeah. But there are people who do that who go through every single game and like find the nooks and crannies like constant play test constant like testing and failure and testing and failure just to find the right formula to get through a game that is usually fucking seven hours long in 10 minutes that is not simple or easy at all that's crazy it's such a stupid thing like really dude like have you ever even tried to speed run anything tried, like bro, obviously like, not obviously not it's 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 just people that are stupid that have platforms so they can spread their stupidity to other people gas and, and yeah. it's like there always has to someone always has to fill the void because it was for a while there was a lot of fucking uh uh fucking pompous fucking uh progressives that were just saying stupid shit and people were like hey calm down and yeah. then it's like some of the people are antsy and then some like this fucking re this this conservative gentleman <laughs> <laughs> this fucking re gentleman this, this, this gentleman Mr. had to fill the void like he's just itching like nobody's being stupid enough i need to fucking just uh, like, i feel like why can't people just chill the fuck out somebody always has to take over <laughs> leftists because. can leftists can speed run a video game and it's impressive but when i speed run sex i'm pathetic 
<laughs> <laughs> that's me. That's me. That sounds like a uh, a fucking Ben Shapiro thing. That, that sounds like Ben Shapiro would make that fucking would say and mean. One hundred percent. Can you, you imagine being been, haunted I, by Ben Shapiro's ghost? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'd kill myself so quick. That's fucking. I, I can't. I, I can't myself. deal with that shit. I would just make I fun of him. I'd shit. make fun of him till he left. Let's say uh, hypothetically. It's just too ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> Let's say hypothetically, I frightened you with that attempt I just did. Were you a bitch? Let's oh say my hypothetically, god. Hypothetically, uh, I took my penis out and I peed all over your bathroom. Are You're you still, still an atheist. <laughs> well, how do you explain me, Ben Shapiro, the ghost? <laughs> I would actually be a good, good point. Yeah, actually. it would be a really good argument. Lie, that's a good fucking point. Yeah, I, I would actually yeah. be like, wow. I, yeah, I mean, you know, this good is point. One time your debates have made sense you had entirely. To, he literally had to <laughs> die to be right. <laughs> but bro, what's the name of the, the book he wrote? Um, what? I would have killed Lincoln. Know. No, he wrote a book that was like I had like <laughs> it had like a little black kid's name in it that was like ultra offensive. I forgot what, what it was called. Um, it was the name of a book? Oh, you're right. Yeah. He wrote Wait. a book and the main character's a little black kid and the name in the book was Like Leroy the offensive. Little Nigga by uh, what, uh, Ben Shapiro ben Black Shapiro? Kid Book. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I didn't know what else to search. I mean, you, you, you gotta search. I found gotta it, search, I bro. think. True Allegiance is the name of the book. Well, uh, how know. Ben Shapiro writes black characters in his novel. Okay, hold on. This is on page two of chapter one. Let me read it. I'm going to read it for you guys. Oh, man. On the second day of school, Brett was sitting by himself at lunch. He wasn't one of the Irish kids, and he wasn't one of the Italian kids, so he couldn't sit with those cliques. And he'd made the mistake the day before of trying to befriend a couple of the black kids. That <laughs> hadn't gone well. He'd ended up with a black eye and a few new vo and a few new vocabulary words to add to his dictionary. <laughs> so today he sat alone until he made the mistake of looking up. Standing above him, glaring at him, was a behemoth, a black kid named Yard. Yard? <laughs> Yard? What? what is that? Nobody knew his real name. Everybody just called him Yard because he played on the school football team. Stood six foot five, clocked in at a solid 280 pounds, and looked like he was headed straight for a lifetime of prison workouts. The coach <laughs> loved what? him. Everybody what? else feared him. If Brett hadn't looked up, everything would have worked out just fine. But then again, he didn't have much choice, given that Yard grabbed him by the shirt, pulled him out of his seat like a rag doll. When Yard mumbled something in his face, what, said Brett? I said, Yard, Yard growled, did you just call me an N-word? Because I just heard you call me N-word. The entire room turned. he growled it too? He growled it. Like a, he said, say N-word. You remember that classic video of that dude describing like a dog attack? And he's like going insane at the camera. Oh, yes, it's like, he did it. He was really good at it, dude. Yeah, it was like a perfect. <laughs> that is crazy. That's like, yeah, that. I was expecting uh, a crazier name, to be honest. No, but there's another one is... that was worse, bro. Was I was, really I was expecting like a, was... like a Jao Quimbo Monsanto or something. I think a Jao Quimbo. <laughs> yeah. He had Young it was one where he had like a fuck name, and I was like, oh man. Good yeah, I'm Benny sure you Shapiro. can find it. You sure it wasn't like uh, Crowder? Because I know that guy's pretty fucking like transparent. Like, yeah, he, like I don't know if he's written a book or something. Funny. He's just funny. He's just like I, he just, I say. He, you know who I think is more ridiculous than Crowder and stuff now? Uh, I I hadn't yeah. really. I've only recently seen Matt Walsh clips. Oh, I've yeah. never seen any of his shit before until very recently, and I was like, "This guy's a fucking real person." I can't believe yeah, this. No, Matt Walsh what? is a fucking idiot. I remember. Do, I remember doing a video on him a long time ago. Back when everybody was saying that I never made fun of conservatives, by the way, um, ah. <laughs> made this video about Matt Walsh, who had this whole take about how, like, playing violent video games objectively makes you a worse and less moral person. Like, he, he this is a take that he oh, genuinely had. I know who he is. Was that when dick. he was fucking playing, sucks. like, GTA Five or G Grand Theft Auto or some shit? Like, did you no, see that? Where he's like, I, fuck video games, and he's like playing Grand Theft Auto, like, oh, he's killing, he's killing, running everyone over, and he's like, oh, this is bad, and he's having the time of his life. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> and he's like, Dude, giggling up, he's having the time of his life. Shit. He's definitely the kind of guy that like opens his mouth and fucking face plants dildos, man. Like, this guy is a fucking <laughs> moon. He's a, this guy sucks. He's a fucking asshole. 
By the way, I'll... if you're conservative and you're a little like, listen, this is we're talking about very specific people here. <laughs> we're talking yeah, about we're not... caricatures. Of yeah, conservatism. Yeah. These fucking joke of they're characters. They're not people. I keep trying to tell like, people <laughs> I keep trying to tell people that like if if they like if we make fun of somebody with like a particular set of beliefs, right? And you know mm. people get offended on behalf of the that because like they see themselves in that person. You shouldn't see yourselves in those people. Like even if you like have the same, if, even if you're like aligned on the same political spectrum, like there's a fine, there's a pretty big difference between, you know, Colin and Matt Walsh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, feel I'm, like I'm, sat, I feel like if we sat him in a room with Colin, he'd be just as confused as we would. Yeah, he'd be Colin, like, "What Colin, the fuck is wrong I, with that?" I'll guy? tell you what. I'll tell you what. Colin, Colin would be like, "Now you you say this thing, and I, I just." I cannot grasp how you think this way. I cannot grasp how you feel this way. <laughs> like he'll, he'll be like really academic about it. He's um, so vocal when people are stupid. I love him. He just he just he has the, he has to talk to you about it because he gets scared that it's gonna spread. So he's like, I gotta figure this out quick before it gets everywhere. <laughs> he actually had a he did an interview on, and this is weird because I'm technically like <clears throat> shilling another podcast, but like he he had an interview with that Philip Mnuchin guy, the guy who like. Uh, he he plagiarized the Dead Cells review a couple years ago at IGN and got like oh, yeah. sat. I remember that. He had an interview yeah. with him recently, and it's actually like pretty fucking interesting. But throughout the whole interview, he's like, "I just I can't understand how you didn't understand that pl- plagiarism was a bad thing. Like I I just I can't wrap my head around. <laughs> it's it's so funny. It is a good conversation, but it's also it's just it really is just one of the situations like that. It's literally one of the things they teach you not to do <laughs> in school. Yeah, and like academic writing, they immediately teach you how bad plagiarism is. Like like the first thing you learn, like hey, you plagiarize, you get a failing grade. It's this guy so was like, yeah, no nah, shit, man. right? It's such <laughs> a it's such a bad thing to do that even I don't do it, and I have no reason not to really. Literally. You know, because I'm not an academic writer. Like I don't have to not plagiarize, but I it's yeah. just so. I think the worst part about it is it's just lazy and like unoriginal. Like if you're going to spe- imagine plagiarizing your opinion, <laughs> like that's, that's such a crazy fucking, you just, I don't know. Yeah, to me, it just, just shows so that terrible. you don't actually have an opinion about this subject, right? Yeah. Like, otherwise people, people you'd want to speak up. Though. People do that a lot. People, um, people so yeah, often it, don't to make money, have, right? People so often don't have proper understanding about things they talk about. And they bring it up, and it is like, oh yeah, this, this, that, and it's just like, bro, just yeah. shut up. If you don't know it, just admit you don't know Ooh. it. <laughs> yeah, like I, I had that's fucking. I, I did, uh, I did a Halo video. Like I'm still working on it. It's, it's going to be out in the next couple of days. But like I've been doing a Halo video, like assessing my thoughts of like the infinite flights that we were playing, and I made a specific point not to watch anybody else's video before I wrote and filmed mine. And like after I had filmed it, I I went and watched everybody to make sure like I wasn't repeating anybody. And there were some parts in uh skill up he does like video game reviews there are some parts in his video that i noticed were like very similar to stuff that i had said independently without seeing it and even then i was like you know what i'm gonna cut that out it's not hard Mm. to do really you know or at least like i I reworded it at the very least just to make it seem like it's you know because that's uh, unfortunate there's only so many uh, different opinions you can have on the same game especially when everybody kind of unanimously agrees it's doing pretty good but nah, right, man, you got you got to be out there as much as you possibly can be. You'd be like, yo, this game is, yo, this of... game is dick cheese and fucking shit water, man. Like I hate this. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> this game is fucking not come. I'd rather suck it's Ben not... Shapiro's ghost dick than play this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, I would never let you suck my dick. <laughs> uh, I'm the strangest man. I'm the I'm the strangest. I'm the, I'm the straightest ghost alive. Uh, <laughs> no. like, seeing as I'm not gay, um, you hypothetically are homosexual now because you want to suck my uh, ghostly cock, yeah, but uh, I'm not going to let you do that because uh, uh, I'm not gay. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. I don't, to even some... touch my own pe- I don't even touch my own wiener. <laughs> I don't even touch my own wiener. <laughs> got to be mad at me. I don't touch do you ever, my wife. Did you, guys, did you guys see that tweet that he did where he was like, oh, it's, it's something, I think it's like one of his kids or so, something. Yes, like, yes, yes, yes. It's like he, I think I, it he came into fake, my though. wife's bedroom. And I was like, bro. Yeah, it was about Columbus Day. He said that his kid came and asked him about, like, hey, what's to, uh, is today Columbus Day? And then went into his wife's bedroom and asked the same thing and, and was really proud. The tweet was deleted immediately if it was real. The thing is, I feel like somebody just, you know, I wanted to be real so badly. Yeah, yeah, but, I know uh, what you mean. It, I, does, I'm just, I'm like, it ah. seems like something he might say. 
<laughs> but, yeah. my wife's bedroom. Yeah. He walked into my wife's bedroom. It's probably not real. That man's a fucking that guy's stoic, man. I love him. I love him. I love I love how much of a beta he is, bro. Let's move on to some fucking questions from our lovely patrons over at patreon.com slash the snark tank. Uh, remember, you can support us over there for a dollar if you want, and you can get uh, early access to every episode. Just letting you know that in the middle of the show, just so you know. Um, yes, sir. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's fucking Do any see. Que- Do we have any questions from Prager U? From Dennis no. Prager? Prager U no. did not write in. Prager U supports us entirely, wholeheartedly, but they have not written in to support us. He refuses. He, he's, a, he's actually the highest grossing patient of Yo, all time. Would you take? Would you take a sponsorship from Prager U? I would. Yeah. If, if, if they t- tell you what, if they were willing to pay, uh, if they were willing to pay well enough. And they let us do whatever the fuck we wanted with it. They had like, they were like no notes. Yeah, I would do it. Yeah, for sure. I'd do it. How would, how could you not? How could you not waste that opportunity? Like that is, uh, that is, that'll become viral. Like that's a legendary moment yeah. right there. You're giving Excalibur and it's like, okay, now don't go fuck around with this. Just hold on to it. Like, nah, I'm gonna go cut shit in half, yeah. man. <laughs> and we'd be like, hey, welcome to the Snark Tank. You want to know how abstinence is the only true method of safe, <laughs> safe, <laughs> of sex. safe sex? I would love that. Look I would at, jump at the look opportunity. At me. I, Tom Sweeney, am abstinent. I've never touched myself or anything ever. And I would show them my hand, my fucking stark, beautiful white hands. I've never laid my palms upon anything. The only liquid <laughs> leaving my body is the tears. When I'm reading a good book by Ayn Rand. <laughs> by Let's, Ayn move Rand. Que- <laughs> Ayn Rand. Let's move on to some questions. Uh, Couplematic wrote in. This is a Halloween themed question. Uh, I guess vaguely. Hey there, uh, trio of death. Since this is a spooky month, what was what was your worst nightmare that may have been realistic in some way? P.S. Hope you guys have a wonderful month. So you guys ever had like a fucking stupid realistic nightmare? That, I had a nightmare uh, last night. I don't really. I don't really remember. But I had a nightmare last night. Yeah, actually, it was really fucking. It was really. It was really, really scary. But like, it wasn't anything going on. But it was a really frightening dream. Because I had a dream that me. Because my girlfriend has this problem where she just likes going into like festive. She's like, oh, it's it's fall. Let's go do all the fall stuff. I know she's listening. So, <laughs> and I had a dream that we went to a pumpkin patch and it was like this maze at first. And we got out the pumpkin patch and it was like this big field and there were tigers <laughs> in the field. And I and then they were like, just calm down. They're friendly. Tigers not going to bother anybody. And the tiger <laughs> came up to tigers. me and I was just like, what the fuck? That's a tiger. And everybody else seemed to not <laughs> understand the power that tigers hold. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I'm going to wait. And the tiger walked away. And then some guy came with a pug. And he's like, let me lead you guys past this place. If you go running by yourself, you might have sight the tigers. And they will attack you. So this, this like small person with a pug walked me across this field full of tigers. And I remember at the end of the dream, I screamed at my girlfriend. And I broke up with her because she brought me to some place with live tigers. <laughs> oh shit! And then I just woke up and my heart was beating so fast. <laughs> I was just yeah. like, "What the fuck? Why did you?" Br- it's such an insane dream. That's a really good reason to break up with somebody, though. To be f- to be completely real, like if why they- the fuck would you bring me some place with live tigers? <laughs> what is your problem? They're friendly tigers. Oh no, they're I, friendly tigers. I don't know she if I wasn't have freaking out at all. She was like, "Fine." She's like, "Oh, well, they're just tigers." I, I don't know they're if I great. have any like, like all of my nightmares now are not. They're not particularly fantastical. Every now and like, now and again, when I take like melatonin to go to sleep, I'll have like a fucking insane nightmare where like it's just all me and my friends, and we're like walking through a broken down manhattan and we got all these like weird like video gamey like theme parks area it's like oh this part there's a train in the middle of the street we got to go through the train to get to the other side of the street for some reason it's like all right whatever fucking weird and then it gets (laughs) dark at it but like the most horrifying dreams are the ones where like they i could like conceive they could conceivably be real you know like i wake up like I'll, i'll be like in my room and i'll be doing something and they'll like knock over water 
and then it'll like land on my computer and then my computer will catch fire and then my house burns down and then my dog walks out half burning and it's like screaming and I'm like, oh my God, what the oh fuck? And then I wake up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, the worst, the worst dream I've had ever is what you call it. I had a dream is right after I started getting, um, you started doing a podcast. And I was saving up money sign. to renovate my my uh, my new room, and I was like, "Oh man, I'm so excited! I'm gonna get a nice computer. I'm gonna get all this cool stuff in my room." And then as soon I had a dream that someone stole my account and spent all my money, and I was <laughs> like, "Yo, that's like eight thousand dollars just gone. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I can't afford to move. I can't do anything." It's and scary, I woke man. up crying. I woke up on the side of my bed tearing, and I was like. I hope it's oh not God. true. I didn't even check my car because I was so scared if it was true. <laughs> <laughs> I hate being vulnerable uh, like that, man. It scares me. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I don't fucking. I don't have dreams like that, man. I I just I, I have just mundane bullshit. I don't. I have one nightmare, and it wasn't even scary. It was just stupid. It was like I guess I don't even consider it a nightmare. It was just I was in front of my grandma's house, and some fucking bullshit that I don't even remember was chasing me. And I was jumping <laughs> over entire lawns of grass, like as if it was normal to like run away. <laughs> it made no sense, right? And then, <laughs> then I got cornered in a fucking shed. And before I got to see what it was, I woke up and I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I was like, what was that? <laughs> it was so weird. I remember that, is, that vividly, but <laughs> that's that about is, it. I don't that's really remember. pretty shit. fucking stupid. I love that, though. Yeah. The cha- like, sometimes I'll have nightmares that don't ever happen. And I understand that, that what? sounds. Wait, what does that <laughs> so, mean? What do you mean? So it's anxiety I, the whole time. You're no. Like, so what I mean is, you know how like there's a distinct difference in the way that a dream feels right off the bat than what a nightmare feels like. You know what I mean? Like a nightmare has like a tone or like a feeling that like you're kind of aware that it's a nightmare. And I remember kind of recently, like in the last like, year or two, I had one of those where I'm like, oh, this is a fucking nightmare. And so I was waiting for like the scary thing to happen and it just never did i was just in a place with a feeling of nightmare (laughs) and i just i just woke up and it just never happened but it was a nightmare it was the it was the strangest fucking thing i i want to know if this has happened to anybody else because i feel like an insane person when i tell that story Mm. oh because you are yeah but i mean i would like to know if there are others I imagine so. That doesn't sound too, like, unreal. You know what I mean? That sounds like that could be pretty common. Uh, do, I do remember, I just had a thought, though. Like, when I was... Uh, a this young was, boy. Damn, this was in, like, 2013. I wasn't that young. Uh, but it was just, like, I, I went through a bad breakup. And I, and because of the anxiety and, okay. and like, depression in that moment, right? I know, right? Fucking sorry. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, dude, my dreams were fucking crazy uh, around that time. Th- that was the weirdest shit where... I had a an intense dream about the level where you fucking uh, beat Sniper Wolf in Metal Gear Solid. And, like, <laughs> I was fucking, like, I was so anxious and so, like, God, like, I don't want to get fucking sniped, you know? And I woke up and <laughs> it was crazy. I it was so fucking sniped. crazy. And you know what the fucked up thing is? It looked exactly like PlayStation graphics. <laughs> like, so it was, like, all fucked up and, like, blurry and shit. Like, because, you know, PS4 was already out by that time. And so oh I was, it God. was... It was a really weird dream because, like, I don't necessarily consider it a nightmare, but it was, it felt real even though it looked fake as shit. Oh that, that was God, weird I don't as fuck. Get fucking snipes. That's such <laughs> yeah, a that genuine fucking sniper plea. Gonna fucking <laughs> That's a real plea. I don't want to get fucked. Especially by fucking sniper wolf, motherfucker holding a sniper in one fucking hand and walking around <laughs> blasting the shit out of people. Like at oh least fucking God. get shot in the face by a revolver ocelot or something. I don't know. It yeah, just seems cool. getting sniped like just seems so that's so fucked up, man. Like it's just the you don't even see it coming and then you're dead. Like I just it's I your, hate that. Your head just fucking explodes, man. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. That's gotta be the craziest fucking way to die, man. Like that is insane. Nah. Yeah. Well, Imagine well, you're just on a date with your girlfriend and shit, you know, you're all talking and pops. stuff. Your head blows <laughs> up and you're like <laughs> like what do you we, do you know you gotta not like, care about it you gotta not care about it because you care about it too much you're gonna get shot too you gotta fall to the ground quick and then get out get out of there in an, in an episode recently we were talking about like uh headshots and gears of war and like the sound of it oh, so yeah. like it prompted me to like re-download gears 5 and like play through it 
Nice. So I've been doing that, and I'm just like, damn, it's so satisfying. It's so it's satisfying so to just juicy. pop these fucking heads. It's so <laughs> juicy. <laughs> I love even just using the fucking handgun. I can't remember what it's called, but you just kind of like zoom in and just start shooting until that fucking the uh, the bull chattering one, the chattering one, right? The one that shoots like three arm bursts. No, Mm, not the three arm one, but just the 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 one that you get. uh, Just the uh, just the 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 stock one that you get that you you there's there's there's. One what is, is this, a gnaw gun or something? I no, no, it's called. so the first one that you get, the default one that has like a fast fire rate, that's a snub. Snub, mm. snub, that's snub. it, that's it. And then snub. the second one, the proper hand cannon that Dom fucking the hand marks his wife with, awesome. that's a, that's a, a boltock. Oh, I love that so much. That's fucking they were he fucking blows, He blows her head off and I laughed yeah. because I was like, damn, that sucks. <laughs> damn, you blow. have no heart. I, mean, I actually fucking at was... That po- that was actually Dude, real sad. Dude, at that sad. point, you got to, son. I mean, look at her. He's like, ugh. <laughs> She's fucking ugly. That and then bitch he blasted is broken, her. Dog. That's literally the only like, reason. Um, he, he didn't even care about her being all, like, fucked up. It was the fact that she just looked gross. He was like, oh, I can't fuck even this anymore. anymore. I, can't, I don't even want to <laughs> fuck you. Damn it. <laughs> wow. Do it, Dom. Do it. Dom, quick. Don't, don't think I'm about it. I'm coming again, it. Dom. <laughs> I'm squirting again, Dom. <laughs> quick, Dom. <laughs> ah, Dom. Dude, that He's fucking... busting uh, his pants. Dude. That scene would be so different if you heard that in the back. <laughs> you quick, saw it, Dom. I'm going to come again, Dom. <laughs> you saw it raining on them a little bit? <laughs> he just it's, it's on them a little bit. God no, damn it, Marcus. <laughs> It's so much that it's darker. The room is darker because of how much water he's shooting out of his puts. Hey, <laughs> Marcus, you need to stop coming everywhere. Hey, <laughs> hey Holmes. That's not how hey, Dom sounded at all. What are you doing, Marcus, man? You got to chill out with that, man. You've been squirting for hours, fool. <laughs> He doesn't even sound like that. Marcus. Dom doesn't even sound Spanish. I didn't even like. I I knew he was Spanish as I looked at him. Like, he's probably he's, Spanish. I didn't even sound Spanish. His name is, when it's like, oh, his name's Dominique. Oh, his name is sense. Dominic Santiago. Of course yeah, he's but, Spanish. But still, but, you just, he, he's just, uh, you know, he's, he's uh, just an a American. guy. He's just a guy. He's an American man. But yeah, he's so like, funny. he's that type of. He's that type of guy. He's, he's, that guy, he's just always super American. Well, he's, he's really just, about know, he's really about the yeah, you know people that he doesn't he doesn't like ugly women uh w- when things get a little bit tough he kills himself you know straight up <laughs> that is a very male statistic dude that's that's bro i looked at that statistic and it's sad it's a sadly it's pr- high number bro it's, it's a ridiculously high number like the male suicide rate is like I think like twice the female or maybe three times. I was it's, actually it's, yeah. it's, it's definitely it's tons of folds. It's a lot of folds. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's scary. Like, bro. I was actually I was actually thinking of going uh, for Halloween as the male suicide rate, but I couldn't figure out how to convey that. <laughs> just, really. You just use a bar graph. There's like a bar graph and you walk in. <laughs> it's just a bar graph that goes up. Uh, like, he just me, keeps like, going up. Excuse me, would you have mind to, a moment to talk about the uh, male suicide rate and how rampant it is in our society and how no one's talking about it? Not a soul. Not a soul. God, I would be. I would no, be. You soul. can't come in this fucking party. You're like, get the fuck out of here. You can't. You're you can't going step to inside make here. every girl leave this party. Go home. <laughs> Everyone's please. gonna be fucking so dry. They're gonna be anti Marcus Phoenix. You don't, you don't <laughs> go, go to parties to talk dry. about. You don't go to parties to talk about st- statistical uh, suicide rates. That's why I go to party <laughs> shit. That's <laughs> the only reason I go. I bring if my acoustic guitar suicide. and then I sing about him. <laughs> oh, you got a yeah, guitar, sure. man? Oh, man, I don't really play, but... <laughs> I love that. The guy that goes to the party and he's like, oh, you got a guitar? He's like, yeah, I got a guitar. I play a little bit. And then he goes wherever there's the most lit place. He sits down and he plays a guitar. And you're like, dude, what the <laughs> fuck is your problem? Why did you like, bring a guitar to a party? Shit. Yeah, I don't really, smash I don't really, over their heads. I don't really play, but like, like you know, I can, I'll, I'll dabble. And then he starts, I'll he starts to... noodling. He starts noodling like fight through the fire and flames. But then he t- he turns his head up. He's like, the male suicide rate in the United States is fifty times higher today than it was in the nineteen fifties. Why do you think that is? And it's like, all the wet spots for the basic girls just dry back up. It completely, it just completely. <laughs> They just <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, "Bro, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Like, give me a second. The second verse is gonna really hit you." Um. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, and twenty five dollars gets Nikki Ziggy uh, her name read out loud at the end of the show. Wrote in. That's this person's name because Nikki. Jesus Ayo. fucking Christ. 
um, if you had if you had to choose, would you have the podcast sponsored by Live Leak, Ben Shapiro, or Nickelodeon? Consider the restraints each. Consider the restraints each one would place on the content of the episode compared to different amounts they would pay. Live Leak. Uh, mm. Lively? That'd be legendary. On, that'd be legendary. That'd be a le- that'd be a legendary collaboration. It'd be so like that'd be our last fucking, podcast. It'd be like when um it, it'd be like when they gave Kanye and Nike work together and they were like, "Yo, this is unbelievable." It'd be me and Lively. It'd be me like reaching out and grabbing the sun. It'd be like, "Yo, we're gonna put some fuck. We can't put it on YouTube." We would not be able to put that one on YouTube. Sure, we could. We could sponsor. <laughs> we don't have to show anything. We just have to be like, hey, you want to go someplace where you could see that senator blow his brains out? You know the one I'm talking about. We've all seen it. We've um, all seen it more than once. <laughs> yeah, we've all seen it more than once. We've seen that man's head turn into a fucking chocolate fountain. Let's let's think about the place where we can go to see it. I, well, Live Leak is gone also. I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's so, gone. They got oh, is it? It. But, now with, but now they have Hoodsville TV. Oh my fucking god! Of course, of course you know. Of course, course you know the alternative. No, I haven't. I, I only went on. I've only been on there one time, and okay, that was the one yeah, time sure. with the guy that um, that uh, Derek. Don't go on there. I think you think you want to go on there, Derek, but I don't go on there. I've never went on Hoodsville on my computer. My main PC, I've never went on there. So I'm like, all I right, I'll, I'll put on, I'll put on my VPN and then I'll check it out. All right, <laughs> it's really, it's really bad, bro. That's why I saw the video of the guy, um, you know, uh, finish himself and a dog walked in like really mad. Like, what the fuck's up with all this noise? It was really, <laughs> really. God, yeah. I hate, man. I can't even watch that shit, dude. Dude, it's I'm really fucking, dude, sad. I'm, I'm not, you know I'm what I love, life, though, man. unironically still to this day? Still has not gotten old for me. The stuff that is, it will always be funny. The stuff on e is top tier. That. e is amazing. That shit is the funniest fucking nonsense i have ever seen i recently saw an e-fucked video where they were somewhere in latin america and they were fucking and it was like it was like it was like it was a bar full of people for some reason it was just two like younger people up there fucking this girl right one guy was getting her from the back the other guy was getting a blowjob and the guy that was getting a blowjob came all over the guy that was hitting her from the back <laughs> and he just kept fucking her and I would be like, yo, everybody in the bar was <laughs> cackling. And I would have lost if, if someone, first of all, first of all, how the fuck are you fucking somebody in the middle of a stage in the, front of troopers, a ton of man. people? But fucking then troopers. he came on him and he didn't immediately go feral. If someone comes on me, I, that's it. It's that's on. it. It's on. The, the, the person I am for a few moments, I'm not going to be that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a seri- you're a, yeah. you're a you're a you're a, a super villain at that point. You that's your origin story. Can you imagine that's I your origin story. You got carnage. cummed on, and then you just your whole worldview changed. <laughs> I instantly become carnage. That's it. Like, oh, come on, me. I'm carnage. I'm Cletus Cassidy. Everyone's a fucking victim now. But, <laughs> but I, I, that, I made a comic book character very similar to that. Actually, oh my god, what's his name? It was name. His name's. Uh, I might. I feel like I might have mentioned this before. I don't know, but uh, his name's Pimpin Taco. All right. Uh, I, yeah, this was when I was 13 years old. I made the whole product league thing. It was like the Justice League. Uh, long story short, this fucking guy, he's radioactive. He fucking working at a taco stand. The pimps wants a taco. He's being rude. So the dude comes in his taco. Pimp eats it. He's like, what the fuck? And then he turns all radioactive and he turns into a taco pimp. And he's uh, and now all he does is just hunt this guy for the rest of his life. And he's just <laughs> trying to kill him. I wrote this when I was 13. So, uh, <laughs> and he uh, can't get away. <laughs> he can't, he's fucking just, he, he never, like, instead of, everybody else is like a superhero, and this guy is just trying to kill this other guy. That's the only and thing that, that and he's And the doing. other guy slips away every time, like Hitler in Danger 5. He slips away every single time. It's like, like Hitler in Danger 5. It's like, slightly. <laughs> he just barely gets away every time. That's and basically Taco what Pimp happens. He's furious. He's like, I can't believe I can't kill this one fucking taco stand working motherfucker. Why can't so the, I kill him? Look at this is the last this is the last uh, issue I wrote. This is probably like issue four or some shit. It was like a comic little thing. Uh, how he got away the last time he followed him up um, a fucking New York building, whatever. He's like, you can't fucking get away. The dude fucking comes really hard. Like, you know, he like he just really fucking hard. And then it shoots up and hits uh, uh, the plane of, uh, of it hits the wing of an airplane and it fucking causes the <laughs> to, to cr- collapse on the building and then there's just chaos so then fucking you know then he eventually gets away that way 
So I thought uh, you said he caused 9-11. He cummed on a whole building. No, he came he on a he on came whole plane. He on a, caused 9-11. He, yeah, he, 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 caught, he essentially he didn't cause 9-11. That would have been too much. A teacher would <laughs> I probably would have been fucking expelled because that happened the same year, I think. I think that was the same year. <laughs> Dude, that's but, so funny because when I was in, like, uh, I think I think uh, elementary school, I would, I would draw comics too. And they were all so mean. <laughs> like it was just me and my friends and we had this one kid that we didn't like. I'm going to call him Carl for the sake of safety in case this kid's listening. Oh man. But every episode would just be all of us. I don't remember like what it was, what it was called. It was drawn in like the South Park style because it was like the easiest thing for us to do and we were children. And <laughs> we, it was just uh, every issue was just all of us killing this kid. <laughs> That's and it was so like, fucked up, dude. But it, it, yeah, it wasn't like super re- like he was like an alien who would come down and then he would like try to like take over the world and he would immediately get swatted into like every single bee that was that lived on the planet or something. Just like absurd. <laughs> and he, it, I would get pretty like like his eye would be like falling out of his head. It was pretty fucked up. Like if anybody saw this shit, they'd be like, he's got a he, he needs probably a doctor a little bit. Have you guys been um, keeping up with the um, with the evil versions of uh, like the evil memes? Oh where yeah. They take the memes and they refer to them. My favorite. I, I just time, got. I just got sent one. <laughs> my favorite one so far is um, is uh, evil LMFAO says every night I'm suffering. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it seems like kind of a basic meme, but I I, I appreciate. It. Yeah. It's pretty basic. Like I got one recently that was like I'm evil Chris Reagan. I I uh, <laughs> I love Imagine Dragons or whatever, and I'm like ah. <laughs> Oh, even Will I Am's I got a feeling tonight's gonna be a bad night. <laughs> There's something funny about that. Those are a little I just better. Yeah. One, this one, it says this one evil. Like, Ro- I just got one right here. It says evil it? Ronald Reagan be like removes crack from minority neighborhoods. <laughs> yeah. There's another one where it's like, there's a ton of them. There's one that's like evil Drake. We'd be like started from the bottom and we're still there. <laughs> 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 These are just such simple memes, but they're, they're, they're so like, stupid. But that—that's why they hit. Yeah, yeah. But like I don't know. Like I have a. There's something about my brain where if it's just simple comedy or just loud noises, I laugh. Like yeah. loud noises just make me laugh. For some evil, reason. evil machine gun Kelly uh, doesn't hit on children. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I totally forgot he hit on a uh, uh, Eminem's daughter. I totally yeah. forgot about that. It's, it's, that's how the beef started. I totally forgot she? about that. She was sixteen well, at, at the, the time. time. Yeah, because oh, I, thought, I thought she was like my age. But he well, yeah, she's an adult though. now. She's an adult he has now. Two daughters. This was a while ago. But he, he has another daughter. He has two daughters. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, I'm I don't know. Sure. I, know, I, I know. could be wrong. Yeah, anyway, I, no I think we, bo- I, I, you know, Nickelodeon and Ben Shapiro notwithstanding, I think Lively takes it. I think, yeah, yeah for okay. sure. <laughs> All right, let's go. I don't know. Like, did you have a different, like, what did you think, Derek? No, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm fucking, I don't fuck with Lively, but if they're paying, you know, I'm fucking, I'm on board. I'm fucking. <laughs> if they pay, I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. All right, let's, uh, let's, t- let's see. What do we got here? We got so many questions. Like, I, I, I put every single oh, question in this document. Let's fucking do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's kill him. I, this is my, f- I put this in. I don't expect us to answer this. I just put it in because I thought it was hilariously written. I mined 500 Bitcoin. I mined 500 Bitcoins using an N-Gage, wrote in. And he said, do you think animals be pedophiles? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, I don't know, whatever. Uh, th- does he? No, what? I, 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 I can't even. There animals so can't much make elaborate. animals can't make consent laws. So, like, probably, you know what I mean? Like, there's probably like mosquitoes. I know, for example, like absolutely are pedophiles. Because I learned over the over the weekend, I was watching like some some documentary about mosquitoes because I hate them and I want to know more about them so I can destroy them. I, I that, but no. apparently, like some mosquitoes wait for eggs to hatch like they wait over like over where like eggs are laid and then when the eggs hatch they immediately mate with like whatever the fuck comes out of the egg so that's like that's fresh out of the gate like that's like immediate you know and there's not even like a moral brain there that's just like that's an instinctive pedophile if you wanted any more reasons to hate mosquitoes there yeah, you that, go. That makes sense, right? That like the the worst fucking bug on the planet is also a pedophile. That makes perfect sense. They really <laughs> fucking suck, man. Like I can't I think the worst. I, 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 it's them and roaches, man. 
literally can't respect either one. Yeah, they don't do anything. They just exist. Yeah, but roaches don't kill you, though. You know what I mean? Well, they can spread disease. They, they not in the way that, like, say, a fucking mosquito will give you sweet malaria just if you're in the wrong place. <laughs> that is like, true. <laughs> Sweet it's, gotta, it's so you got you got to drink so that fucking awful. gross water. You got to drink that gross water to go to malaria. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> you got to drink that because I tasted that water before. My friend was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, my grandma got this kind of water because she was like, oh, someone's sick. I was gonna give it to them, and I drank it, and I took like a solid gulp of it, and I kid you not, my face went white. My face went white, and I just <laughs> fell to the phone. I was like, what is this? This isn't water. This is not regular Poland Spring. What is this? What, who are you giving this to? <laughs> it's mosquito water, idiot. <laughs> one, of the, <laughs> one of the most ironic things that makes me so happy is that apparently there are smaller mosquitoes that feed off of mosquitoes that have recently fed. Which is awesome. Mm. Like, God, but they deserve, like, there is no, there's nothing worse than mosquitoes, and it serves... It makes total sense that they too would, you know, be susceptible to the yeah. fucking plight that they they fucking cast on the rest of the world. I fucking man. Uh, apparently, um, uh, I can't remember. Was it Bill Gates was trying to, like, he was making mosquitoes to kill other mosquitoes? Yeah, was yeah, that, yeah. Was it Bill Gates? Or, I, I uh, let me look it up. You can keep talking, but let me look it up. Yeah, I remember something about that where I, I was like mad respect because the, I, I, look at me. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get religious at all. But I'm just like, how could you? How, like the things that exist on this fucking planet. I'm like, does it does it really offset like rainbows and sunsets and shit? You know, people are like, oh, these things, these things are beautiful, like bunnies and rainbows and sunsets. Like I'm in awe of our creator. But then there's you know, cancer, mosquitoes. Oh my fucking God. COVID. <laughs> yeah, like... I think I think I think the good things outweigh the bad things definitely in nature. Do you? Absolutely. I don't know if I agree hmm. necessarily. 100. percent Feeling nature is almost entirely very... bad. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, a, it's a very optimistic it's a point of view, it's a cycle but I feel like of good and bad. I, I mean, it's, it's ultimately we... bad. It's a pretty vicious hmm. cycle, though. I mean, it's unforgiving if if like if you're not like smart and savvy and like oh, protect it's yourself. Unforgiving. Like, it's like, it's, <laughs> like it's everything beautiful. will destroy you. It's kind fucking of wild pig will kill you if you're in the forest. You know, you just see that chilling. video of that lady like talking like fucking around with the wild pig. <laughs> yes, people don't <laughs> understand that wild pigs are like crazy dangerous. Wait, what do you that mean? That was what? fucking hilarious. You didn't um, see that pig fuck this bitch like, up? Oh, look, it's a wild pig. You know, luckily he didn't have tusks. But like, yeah, is that the one oh when like God, the pig's a... walking up casually? Yeah. And then, and then right, and then them. this smack. <laughs> it's fucking great. Like, I love how casual it is at first. It's like I'm gonna fuck like, this I'm bitch gonna up. Get, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you guys got to put that video ass. in the chat. I haven't seen it, but it's uh, fucking hilarious. I found the like, article. Gonna... By the way, it says genetically okay. modified okay. mosquitoes released in U.S. to fight disease carrying species. So let's go. Remember, let's... old people were getting killed by fucking uh, West Nile and shit. You remember bro, that? that shit was real, bro. West Nile was having an effect on people, dude. I loved it. I mean, I oh man, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I loved it. That's I loved unfortunate. It. <laughs> oh damn, bro. <laughs> oh shit, dude, that's crazy. I don't like that. The only good thing about West now was that that was kind of a dope ass name for a virus. I don't know. Oh, it just kind of like get out of here, man. That's it sounds like a. Say, it sounds like a like a group. You know, it does. West that's why I was kind of like West yeah, Nile. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, like if there was dope, like a actually. band that came. I was like, hey, we're West Nile. Like it sounds make, pretty good. Like yeah, honestly, I'm gonna listen to them. Yeah, I'll check it. Yeah, out. That's how I felt about uh, the whole when the first time I ever heard of Latinx or Latinx, I thought that was a fucking band, like legitimately. <laughs> I was like, yo, "Who's yo, Latinx?" Yo, 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 we're Ebola. <laughs> 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 Ebola in the building. Let's go. Let's get it popping, yo. We're <laughs> gonna make you bleed out your ass and eyes. Let's Have go. you heard that stupid song that was circulating around Ebola? Don't touch your friends. It was like some stupid. <laughs> yeah, Ebola, dude, it's, Ebola it's, had don't a Don't touch for a your friends. Bit, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> ever seen, so you ever seen the meme? <laughs> There's a meme where you bring that up. It was like where there was a bunch of black people talking about COVID. And they're like, it's a fucking virus, man. Obviously, it's viral. And then the guy's like, yo, nigga, stop touching people with your fucking heads, dude. Stop touching niggas with your heads. <laughs> I did see that video. <laughs> that video is so. Oh, my God, man. Misfortune is makes for the funniest shit, dude. 
is oh, just man. so yeah, perfect. If you type in Ebola in YouTube, the first thing that comes up is Ebola song. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Ebola, it's Ebola. Ebola. It's not even fucking I am African. All right. Ebola, Ebola. All right. Yeah, All right, what's uh, next? What's next? Yeah, let's what's move next? on. Since we're still, we're going to stick with the, t- with the, uh, the theme of, uh, it being kind oh. of spooky month because why not? Okay. Right? Uh, but, uh, Nikki Ziggy, hey, wrote in, uh, hello, sure. Gunther, Sween King and Derek. Uh, I recently watched Nightmare on Elm Street as it is a classic horror movie that I've never seen. And it was dog shit. I was so bored, and I have no idea why it's a classic when it sucked so damn hard. This question isn't directed at Chris since he isn't cultured in movies. But what is your opinion damn, on yeah. horror movies, and do you have a favorite or least favorite classic? Personally, oh. I love the original uh, Halloween and its fantastic soundtrack. Nikki Ziggy, thank you for your question. I got it. Halloween ass. soundtrack goes fucking hard. That soundtrack is amazing. <clears throat> That's but the uh, soundtracks. Soundtracks dun, 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 don't. Dun, 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 I right, feel right, like dun, 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 dun. soundtracks. You, it's you know sometimes it's like oh that's the only good thing that came out of the movie. That's how yeah. I feel a lot of times. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a bit of a crutch a lot of the time. Yeah. Um. But for me, my favorite horror movie is uh is either um I love Insidious, but that's more of a modern one. I love that movie. I haven't seen. I that think shit. that movie's so funny, but it's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> so definitely, I know how people like when I bring it up, they're like. I don't want to watch with you because you're just going to laugh the whole time instead of like watch the movie the right way. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't though. Like it's, I, I can't, how do you watch fu- like, horror is one of those things that this, the suspension of disbelief is so fucking difficult. Yeah. It's so hard to where I, I can't, to, I can't enjoy most assume, of them. You have to assume because in horror, all it takes is people probably being like a little more attentive and smart. And then like, that's why the best horror, well, one of the best horror movies is exorcist. Because Exorcist, it's nothing. They don't do anything wrong. Like, bad shit just starts happening to them, you know? And that's just, what makes the, that movie, like, a little better than most. It's cool. It, it is, a, like, I barely consider it horror, you know, in the way that, like, I don't... I mean, I'm sure it was scary to a lot of people, but it's really entertaining. Like, the, the way that it was done. Yeah. It's a well shot movie, I, mean, I would say that. It's definitely it's a horror movie, that, though. Yeah. 110% it's a horror film. It, it is a horror movie, but what I mean is, like, say, with, like, say, a lot of times with horror, there's, like, uh, a lot of death or or something, some spooky shit happening to people, or not in the way that, obviously, there's the exorcist they're beginning fucked with, but uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking of, like, the your your Friday the 13th, your fucking Halloweens, your, your fucking uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, it's all, there's all a bunch of fucked up shit happening, and exorcist was, like, uh, simplistic which i liked i like that i like when people can kind of take a very small concept and be like we're gonna really make something out of this where it's like wow the uh you know, i appreciate that i appreciate that uh but yeah, horror Rose movies in that. general though oh rosemary's fucking... baby yeah That's a, i think movie's amazing personally but yeah people don't like it too mm-hmm. much i love Rosemary's i don't baby. I think i'm baby. Uh... i like wait what what, what, what what do you got chris what do you got um I, I don't know man i think um I, when I think I'm not really that into horror in general, like I'm already like pretty lack I, like my the amount of movies that I've seen that I can recall are are very small. <laughs> like I don't know, like they don't stick with me as much as video small. games for some reason. Yeah. But uh, when I think of like horror movies that I like, th- I think of like Evil Dead and um, The Thing specifically. I think The Thing might be my favorite horror movie. John if it Carpenter's is a horror thing movie, is because that's like because awesome. for well. I know it's, a, it's unfortunate, but it is basically Among Us at this point, which is like really fucking depressing because it is about like an alien <laughs> imposter. But yeah, that's like genuinely an amazing movie. Not only because like the time it was made. Also, Keith David's in that movie. Is he really? He's child. He's the black guy that survives. I, I know, right? I haven't I seen it in a recently. long time. The thing. It's fucking Keith David. Keith David. Look you, at that. You guys gotta All under, comes back. You guys got to understand that Keith David is in everything. You, wow. You yeah. Understand that. Yeah. He's just everything a fucking good. kid, man. Like, everything that's he good, will, he's in it. It'll keep. You're good. You're, I guarantee you, you're never going to stop finding him in shit. That's amazing. It, it, you, it's, it's never going to stop. <laughs> like, you're going to. If you look at his IMDb, it's fucking. It's like 70 pages. <laughs> the, the, yo, it, one is, of the, it is crazy long. One of, one of the most <laughs> religious experiences I ever had was like one of the flights, either like I, I was, I was like flying either to New York from LA or, you know, 
to LA from New York. I can't remember which one, but I was on the plane and I was next to this woman who was watching some weird Western movie. And I was like, I looked over and I was like, oh, and it was just some dude in a cowboy hat. And then it cuts to Keith David. And I was like, <laughs> no <laughs> fucking way is this happening. I think I remember I told you about it. I think I yeah. might have mentioned it on the show, but yeah, yeah I, I, I think the thing is fucking awesome, man. Like the, oh, just the, the special, the, the special effects in the thing, the original, the, yeah, uh, the, John uh, the, one? the one with Keith David in it. I can't remember like what year that was. I think it's like a seventies movie, but the special effects in that movie fucking hold up like crazy well because it's all practical and like done with like really good lighting and just like no CG because they couldn't do that. Right, but it somehow doesn't feel dated. Like it's like a really yeah. modern feeling movie. Like honestly, uh, well, that's why like I appreciate like when you look at uh fucking um Alien and stuff. Yeah, when when you like and and the fucking the, the the prop and the and and the practical effects of that, it's so it's still when you look at it, I'm like God, that looks so fucking good. Like that, like that, that fucking scene with the Sigourney Weaver when that when the, it's right in front of her fucking face and she's like, eh. yeah, and like opens that. His mouth and it's all that's so fucking like that shit still looks like it's still satisfying to see. It's still yeah. satisfying to see. It, it reminds um, me of uh, it reminds me of uh, the fucking um, in Spider Man Two the fact that like all the arms were actual like puppets that were like maneuvered by people. Yeah, and shit like that. I just it's recently like, saw somebody do the behind the scenes where he's like dancing and shit with them. Yeah, and people are like clapping. <laughs> fucking, it's like, well, awesome. Cool. But like, it translates because so, like there are close up shots in Spider Man Two, like when of like him with the arms, and it's like that looks fucking incredible still. And you can tell yeah. when it cuts the CG like later on during the fight, and it's like ah, that's unfortunate. But uh -huh. like those practical arms look so fucking cool. I'm so excited to see yeah. those. Like, I know they're not practical in the in the new yeah, one. Yeah, it's all CG now. They're probably gonna. Uh, they're probably gonna. They might have to do something about practicality because how like. No, they they already said that. Um, they confirmed they they talked about it. Yeah, they, yeah. they confirmed it's all they CG. Did. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's gonna be. I mean, CG's way better now though. So like, whatever. Right. It's, but, it's just, if they put money into it, it'll look fucking fine. Yeah. Totally just fine. don't Black Panther it, and it'll be it'll be it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> just Black Panther it, dude. God, for real though, that's that so sad. That scene with, is real. Like, Rhinos? I like Black Panther. I think Black Panther is like a fine like movie. Like, it's you know, it's, it's okay. It's good. But like that 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 CG in that last fight is fucking unreal. Like it. Ooh, it with the rhinos? No, no, no. The, when when him and uh, fucking I don't know uh, Killmonger, Killmonger are fighting. Yeah, when they're fighting when they're in fighting like, the, the underground end. place. Uh, and it looks like just, PlayStation Two graphics. It's it's. <laughs> they just it, stopped giving it any more money. <laughs> they like like. We're good. You already got too many. You already got too many niggas here, right? We can't. We can't afford <laughs> anything else. We got all the most expensive niggas in the world in this movie, all right? We can't do this, <laughs> dude. That shit was crazy. I mean, they. I mean, at least, oh God, what the fuck are they gonna do in the next one? Yeah, like, I don't what know. are they gonna do? How are we gonna make like, sure are they gonna Black Panther? Uh, do they have to like rewrite the entire fucking script? I mean, or did they already have one? Because I'm assuming. Uh, he told Chadwick told them that oh low key I'm dying, you know I'm I'm assuming he told his bosses. <laughs> I actually don't think he did. I think, I think he kept it a secret. Actually, no one knew. I know he kept it a secret from the world, but it's like, wouldn't you tell your bosses like, oh by the way, well, I might I mean, not be around for the next fucking movie. Well, well, put it put it this way: you get yeah. you have um I don't know you have uh, brain hemorrhaging cancer and aids or whatever let's say something you have like some fucking crazy thing Jesus it's gonna Christ. kill you in the next few years and then disney comes up to you and they're like hey we're gonna give you millions of dollars and you're going to be in you're going to be uh, uh an iconic superhero for millions of people good point you're not you're gonna, gonna tell you say them. no more say you're no more. not gonna say tell i'm fine i'm like wow i can't wait to work with you for a long time, long, long time. I can't be here forever. six sequels i can't wait to essentially become immortal now as long as you need me to because i'm gonna work here as long as i can yeah, that's yeah. a good point. And maybe he also thought he could beat it too. So I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, people that's do, another reason you know? why he probably didn't say anything. Yeah. He looked really bad in his last days. Though. It was very sad. Yeah, right. And this really sucks that like bad. no people were just clowning on him because they didn't know. But I mean, how I don't even feel bad because like I don't like like on like a shame on you type of thing. How the fuck the, the people didn't know? They thought he was just pulling know, some fifty know? cent. Yeah, he, he, yeah. yeah even some of them was trying to like fucking remember that oh shit my God, when he tried he was for so a role. Thin. <laughs> yeah, dude. He was like, I'm going to win an Oscar. Go, go show it. And then nothing happened. Yeah, even just, nothing um, happened. I don't know. It's that used... crazy how big 50 Cent is. Because he said he only goes to the gym like twice a week. That's a fucking lie. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, that, you must eat great. 
If you're a fucking liar. <laughs> like, so there's, no, there's, no, there's no point to Like, what a fucking liar. He's <laughs> just lying. I mean, God, yeah, so writing on a gun. That could happen, what? but it's just like, what the f- Like, what? No, nah, right. man. Let, let's. Because no, he was, let's, he was let's, jacked let's. well before he even was, like, slightly famous. He was just a big I mean, dude true. who was making mixed Yeah, there's tapes. a lot of. But the, the idea of, like, oh, I only work out fucking twice a week. Unless he's I mean, just he saying, got, I only go to the I, gym, I mean, and then behind the scenes, he's at home fucking. He. You know, he got Going shot a crazy. couple times. They probably like rewired some stuff. You know, <laughs> they they gave him nano he got fucking shot more than a couple times, Chris. I, I think know, he right? has the record for the most shot and <laughs> not dying on a person, probably. <laughs> no, that's not true. I'm sure he's, he's up there though. The uh, Jack Black got shot 64 times. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you say stupid shit sometimes, bro. Like what? The, like, what? what? <laughs> on Jack the set of Black. on the on the set of Nacho Libre, they filmed it in Mexico, and the cartel shot him 64 times, and he's Could he's. You imagine that was he's totally real. fine. Because they all shot him in the same exact place. <laughs> all the bullets went in the exact yeah, same place. Yeah, they just went. They just kept passing through the same fucking. <laughs> yeah, they kept passing the I same. Hole. He's got like if, if you ever see that's why Jack Black doesn't wear shorts anymore because he's got like a he's got a hole in his in his calf that it's it you can put like a rod through it. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's just never closed. <laughs> yeah, never closed. They just can't close now because how many times he's been shot there? All the cells there are dead. It's necrophile. That makes perfect sense. That makes yeah. sense. That's why. That's why it was in Jumanji. Duh. Jack Black oh, yeah. was not in Jumanji, but yes, he was. Was he really? Yes, he was. Yeah, the the, Him, the, the rock fucking rock Hart. Jumanji. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. The, ri- the original not Jumanji. The original I think he was one, like, obviously. That's not Jumanji. Yeah, he was. He was the, he was the monkey kid. He, he was the monkey kid. <laughs> well, he that wasn't. Was him. Yeah, it was him. <laughs> all right, uh, let's move he on. Was the all monkey you, kid. <laughs> all you do is look pretty, and then you fuck. They call me too short, baby. Rodin. They said, nice. hey, y'all, Mississippi girl here. It's my birthday month, October 21st, so I'm hoping uh, that my question will be read. What are your oh, favorite yeah. uh, horror movies in fr- Oh, I should have read that with the other one. What are your favorite horror movies in franchise that you still watch to this day? Mine is Scream, uh, Call Me Cliche, but uh, I was in Cream. junior high when those came out, and it's a bit nostalgic. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, can understand that. We kind of answered this. fucking but- gay, but I, I get it. I totally yeah. get it. Scream's pretty. For me, for me it's <laughs> I definitely... like the mask though. I like I like Ghostface. I mean, come on, that's that's iconic. It is. Yeah. Like Ghostface is movies. iconic. I like those movies, but it just, it, it I, like well, Scream. The, um, the main character, that girl, <laughs> makes a lot of good decisions. She makes a ton of good decisions. Sid- you know, so I fuck with her. Sydney, 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 Sydney. Sydney. She makes hello, decisions. hello, Sydney. I'm gonna but fuck like, your ass. I tried to watch Friday the Thirteenth. And I'm not Friday the 13th. That one is, you can't beat that nigga. That nigga's invincible. But, uh, but um, I tried to watch a like, Halloween, white, right? And it's like, yo, why doesn't someone just pull up on him while he's doing something with a gun and just blow the back of Dude, his head off? Here's the thing, though. And look at, look at, man. I'm, I'm not going to watch this movie. And the shit's out, I guess. There's clips everywhere. Did you see Have the you clip seen where any of the, the clips? Door? No. What yes. Clip? Wait, what clip? The clips with the door. This fucking chick, right? She's in like a nurse costume, I think. Yeah, and she's like blasting for some reason. Uh, uh, Michael Myers is in a car just chilling. He's in like a lowrider just bumping, and fucking this chick pulls up and starts shoots him, uh, shoots at him in the car six times. With the last shot, motherfucker kicks the door, pushes the door, and it hits the gun and it shoots her fucking self. She shoots herself because the fucking gun, the car door hit the gun. It's. The, yeah, do you? I, I have it. I'm gonna send it to you right now on, on Twitter, dude, because it, it is it, it, it incredible. It's so fucking funny. It like twists around in her hand and shoots at she her face. Somehow shoots herself. Did she shoot him? She tried. She, well, she tried, and he, I'm telling you, that he was just fucking just doing some gangster shit, and nothing happened. She's, I mean, she's just a nurse. It's like the least respectable career a person could have. So like, oh, she's okay. not is she super, actually a nurse. So or is she's it, not is super Halloween. Oh, I huh? see. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. She looks like a fucking Power Ranger. What the hell is this shit? She's like, like all a, I'm like saying a, is this, dude. She's a let sexy Let someone get ones. captured. Uh, you know, like if this happened, say with us, right? Let me get captured. I'll be trying to wrestle him off me, and then one of you guys come with a fucking knife right in the back of the vertebrae. That's it. He's yeah. down. We get frying pans. And we flatten his head. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure like people have done so much bullshit to him that I'm like he's he going, going is like yo this is the, he's white male rage yeah <laughs> isn't, he, isn't he also just a guy like isn't that the story like he's not he's like a supernatural just, entity, I right? have no dude. idea is he's he just some angry white man bro that I never really watched these movies these like, movies never really like excited me in any real way to go see him so angry white man bro 
I've seen the first ones, I think. Um, I, I, I was going to watch H2O Halloween 20 years later, and I'm like, ah, I'm good. And yeah. I, I just, yeah. And then they kept going. I was like, oh my God, this chick, is, uh, what's her name again? The, the main chick? Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I can't believe she's still doing this. Like, I'm, I'm shocked. Like, it's got to be this some sort thing, of record. Dude. Like, like she, it's almost she's probably like just neck and neck with with uh with Hugh Jackman and Wolverine, like as far as Damn, like playing a probably. fucking character. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Like who Shit, else? Who the fuck is. else has been playing that, the fucking character this long? Who? Who else? Uh, it's no, no, it's her. She definitely that movie came out in like the eighties, and it's like two thousand fucking like twenty what twenty one. This mother, this bitch been mm. at it for a while. Yo, yo, She's been so, at it for a long so time. Right? Is is Nightmare on Elm Street the one where at the end the woman is like standing on her porch and she gets pulled through that little hole in the yeah. door? Mm-hmm. That scene is so fucking funny to me. Like I, I can't. <laughs> it, is, it looks like a blow up doll getting savagely like. You, <laughs> have you seen that video of the monkey taking the banana from that guy? Yeah, dude, the monkey gets so pissed. Dude, the monkey gets so fucking mad. <laughs> dude, the the expression of that fucking monkey is so human when it gets his second arm in there and it's like wrestling it away from the guy. It is Bro, that is the dude, most. When he got it and he shook it, Vite even eat it. It's great because he's so mad. He's like, I don't even fucking want it anymore. <laughs> that <laughs> wasn't the when the shaking, the violent shaking wasn't even the funniest part of it. To me, it was like when he went like this. He went, <laughs> he like he tried to get it. Dude, it's so violent. The the expression on his face and everything. It's it's such a human feeling. That my monkey was yeah. upset, dude. That I monkey love that was video, mad. Man. I love how mad he was. Hey, I sent you that, that, uh, that clip. <laughs> Did you see it? Ever, dude. I sent you that clip on Twitter. You got you got to watch it so you can fucking lose my shit. So you can be you can be on board. Oh, I think I sent you the 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 wrong one. No, I see it's the right clip, but somebody added something to it that <laughs> that made it even better. Someone added some fucking like they added a drop to it that made it better. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> I can't so stand these people. I can't. Yo, is she fucking? <laughs> <laughs> It's a they good clip. So That's stupid. So fucking you guys hilarious. should you guys should definitely watch that clip of Halloween of the nurse getting yeah. fucking oh my murked God. by her own gun. Michael Myers gets out of the fucking out of the car and stuff, and Kate then he just like bro. he wipes Shot. off his collar and shit like that, and adjusts his fucking jumpsuit or whatever the hell he wears. Yo, I remember when Buster Rhymes spits beat his on ass. Her. Buster Rhymes kills him actually. Oh yeah, I forgot they were in a movie together, right? Yeah, H2O, he kills him. Buster Rhymes. Beats I mean, clearly him to death. he didn't kill him. Well, no, he died. <laughs> but they, re, they, re, they restarted. He got, he got restarted. They restarted oh continuity. God. So ridiculous. Wait, did but, he uh, rap him to death? Like he like he was rapping so fast that Buster uh, that Michael Myers just died. He just uh, yeah, can't Michael take Myers it. I'm too white. Himself and he died. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Wow. Hey, you know what actually is kind of entertaining? I will say, like, uh, fucking. I enjoyed the reboot of the Texas Chainsaw Massacres. There was like two of them in the in the mid two thousands. There was a there was one before that too. There was one the just a text chain on master, and then there was the one uh, it begins, which was a prequel. So uh, I which both of those. I I enjoyed them because it reminded me of like if you played Resident Evil Seven, it basically it's that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like yeah. the the begins one. It, it's basically it's it's really it, it was I enjoyed them. They were kind of fun. All right, because they weren't trying to scare you. It was just like oh my god, this is these are psychopaths. You know, like I I, I like that. All it's, I got sorry for me. Just why don't people have gun like. Everyone just makes such bad decisions. That's what bothers me. Is like everyone just does such stupid shit in those movies. And it's just like, I want you all to die. I want you to die. Yeah. I remember there was this yeah. one movie called like Contagion or something, something like that. Uh, and it was like just like zombie virus or whatever the fuck. And there's this scene where like there's this woman who like I, I guess like lost her daughter or whatever. And she, she gets like entranced when they're like, uh, they're going through this empty house, like trying to scavenge for like food or equipment or like gasoline or some shit. I, I don't really remember. But she goes into this room that has a crib in it and she gets like transfixed on it. And she goes in like she, she walks in. She doesn't check the corners of the room. And there's a fucking zombie in the corner of the room that she doesn't look. And it's like, oh, well, fucking you're an idiot. Like, <laughs> I, I, I can't I can't watch this anymore because I don't care. I don't, oh, I don't care what happened. You don't deserve to live. You don't deserve to live. You know, like, yeah. Was be, that if, fucking like, Dawn of the Dead? Groups of I think people, that was Dawn of the Dead. Like, Dawn Dead is great. That's a great movie. I think that was Dawn of the Dead, the one with Vin Rames in it. Where, like, there was that crib scene. Wasn't that that? Because I think Contagion yeah. is just that boring virus movie. 
You know, no, that has the, Lawrence Fishburne no, in no, it. For, um, for Dawn of the Dead, is the, the mom gives birth to the baby. And she's a zombie, then a baby's a zombie, and then they kill the kid. Oh, is that what I'm zombie. thinking? I'm, I thought, yeah. I thought, I, I remember. I, okay, it's something, but uh, Contagion, though, I know it's that. It's that movie that came out in like 2011 that everybody started watching when the p- fucking pandemic happened. Yeah. Like, that was just a boring one. It's just like a natural disaster type movie. Like, no yeah, fucking I don't, zombies. I don't or remember what the fuck. I don't remember what. It was like something like that, like in, in infection or like. It, it had like a yeah. shun at the end of it. That's but, it. <laughs> it's a shitty movie. Don't don't. You, it's not worth scouring the internet to find. Gotcha. Uh, that Erection. spider that crawls in your mouth while you sleep, Rodan. He says, "Hello, my." F- uh, wait, what the fuck? All right. This. Uh, let me reread that. Jesus. The spider that crawls into your mouth while you sleep, Rodan. And he said, "I have been posting questions for the last six months now, and only been noticed once. If this question isn't read, I'll make you past tense." My question oh my is God. for wow, Sweeney actually. now. My question is for Sweeney now that you've had some time playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Who's your favorite who is your favorite romance option? PS I watch you in your sleep. So oh, we'll just ignore Garris. that last part. Garrus? Yeah, Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> yeah. Garrus, I'm Garris. too did, did Garris you, play, you too, played a too... female shepherd? No, I played as male shepherd. <laughs> I fuck Garrus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, my favorite uh, my favorite um is the uh, it's not Tally, it's uh I forgot her name. Well uh, how dare you the blue girl, I forget her name. Uh, Liara? Liara. Liara. Liara's my homegirl, dude. <sighs> She's fucking canon, though. The, the, the developer's kind of pushing you towards her. Oh, they definitely push you towards her, but like, I like Liara a lot. She got her. I, I would fuck her mom if I could. Her mom has those big blue oh, titties. Oh, Matriarch Benezia, dude. Matriarch Benezia got the <laughs> biggest, bluest titties dude, when you ever. Dude, when you become a fucking Matriarch, your tits explode. Like, I don't know what the hell that's all about. Biggest, it's bluest good, good race, titties I've ever seen in my life, bro. It's a good race. It's a very good race. <laughs> it's a very good race. Like, dude, they all look like sexy women. Like, there's no fucking dudes. There's not a When they get old, man. when they become about like 900 years old, their tits expand. Like, that's a fucking good race. This is a solid choice. It's a solid choice of a fucking creature. It's like very, very solid. It's like when you're playing like like, D&D and you pick elf. It's like, this is a solid choice. It's good. Overall, nothing's wrong with this race I get to see in the dark I get to move a little bit quicker everything's fine it's like when you think about uh the um the like Liara and oh my god what are they called again the, the uh, like, uh, I don't the remember I, yeah it's 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 like I it just left my head oh my god because um, for some reason Shani, the Salarians the Salarians Torians the oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. That, that is crazy. I totally forgot it too. That's crazy. I should know what they are too. I've I recently played uh, the game. You're gonna feel like idiots it. too when it's red. Like, the oh, second season, Asari. 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 I just How the for fuck some reason I forget the, that. I, 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 I was close. I was Asari, you were you were close to what you said. Yeah, you were close. But yeah, like so, it seems like some that race. Like if you if you were to think of like some horny teenager. Like, that's, like, how you would make an alien race. Like, the, how the Asari oh, were made. Yeah. It's it's like a... They got tentacles. They're fucking... And they, <laughs> there's no girls. They're, there's no guys. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. It might have been a little Freudian right there, but... Hey, man. You go for what you hope for, you know? But, uh... Are there any male Turians? Not Turians. Um, what are they called? Um, Asari? No. What's the name of the... Um, what's the name of... What's Grunt's race again? Krogan. Cro- are there other oh, female uh, Krogans? Yeah, you meet one, yeah. Right? There's two. Yeah, you meet you meet a couple. You meet a female turn. You meet one. Um, in the second one, she's uh pretty. She's actually extremely important to uh the the game. And then you meet a third one. What? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm getting my shit fucked up. I think you only meet one in the third game, and so she has fucking grunt. clown shoes on. She has clown shoes on in the in the <laughs> if you if you remember. <laughs> Because, you know, like, if you, if you look at, like, say, all of their feet, they, it's just armor, so it's covered, like, you know, they're three-pronged, they have three toes or yeah. whatever. But for some reason, that chick, that's, like, her name's, like, Shaman or whatever the fuck her name is, um, uh, she surrendered her name. Um, yeah, she has clown shoes on. She has fucking goofy shoes or Sora like, shoes actually, or whatever. Yes. <laughs> and they look fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she does. What the fuck? They're like Crocs. Put it, put, it, put it in a two group chat. I got to see this. <laughs> if you just Google uh, female Krogan Mass Effect, uh, <laughs> it's in it's in like the first page of Google Images. It's like maybe like the second row. But 
<laughs> but you could see them like they stick out because you could see like the 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 alien looking feet in most of them and then this one where <laughs> it really is fucking crocs <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, what are these fucking shoes? What the fuck? <laughs> Ew, why does she have those? That is I really fucking those. funny. <laughs> I don't know why they chose those I, fucking I, shoes. I, I love that you remembered this fucking detail. Because <laughs> oh it's so God. fucking wacky. It's They're so, so fucking wacky. Like, it, <laughs> oh, like they could have just gave her the same type of shit that they gave the other like the people that are in armor and stuff and i guess she's just wearing not armor like regular krogan clothes but even those people aren't wearing fucking clown shoes like but she is for some reason that it's very is so weird. fucking funny Krogans are fucking hard to deal with man i remember fighting my first krogan in freaking mass effect one in um in a tower and he was just he was just oh, not yeah. a joke he was just not let everybody else is like, oh, putting these guys down. And then They're that fucking Krogan assholes. came out and he was just like not playing. I was like, whoa, dude. Yeah. That is so goddamn There's... funny. <laughs> all, right, all right. Let's move. Let's move on. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I love FOV sliders wrote in. This is about music. He says, hey, Jerry, George and Kramer. What is a what is the perfect? Uh, wait. What is a perfect or your favorite incorporation of a song in any movie, TV show, or game? Like oh. Tequila in Sandlot, for example. Oh, um, you, already, you already know what it is. Mm. Oh, I don't know. what. I Need a Hero in fucking Strike 2, man. That's pretty oh, perfect. damn, yeah, it is a great one. It's that is a really... It's, 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 it's like there's nothing wrong with that. That is a perfect example, <laughs> really. That's a really good one. It it's hard to works. beat. Not gonna lie. For me, the first thing that comes to mind is a recent thing. Of, from a game that I have not played yet. I don't even think it's out. I think it's like it's only the demo is out. But I don't know if you guys saw this. I don't even know if... I don't even remember if we talked about this on the podcast. But mm. there's a Final Fantasy game where... Uh, <laughs> the main character... It's like a prequel... What is it? Like It's like the villain story from Final Fantasy 1 or some shit? I don't know. Whatever. But the character is given some information. And he says... Bullshit. And then he pulls out his phone and then he starts playing what really sounds like Limp Biscuit for no reason as he turns and walks away slowly. And then it fades to black and then it fades back in to him shutting the phone off and turning to his friends going like, we have to go kill chaos or like whatever the fuck. I'll it is the chaos. strangest fucking thing I have ever seen. <laughs> I don't, and, I've not seen that. <laughs> if you look up hey. Final Fantasy Limp Biscuit, the clip is like That's everywhere. <laughs> it is the funny. It's not Limp Biscuit, but it sounds, sounds a lot awful. like him. All and I it's the like funniest that. fucking shit I've ever seen. All I have to say is that Tetsu Nomura needs to no longer be hands on when it comes to video games. Yeah. He needs to just step back. He doesn't know what he's doing anymore. Give he it a fucking rest. Take a step back. Jack says bullshit. Like, it's and like Limp Biscuit him and plays on his like, phone. You two have done great things. <laughs> Now sit down and watch the rest of the world make games while you guys just watch. No, I disagree. I think I think Kojima needs to still be doing things. Nah, he doesn't. I, he I, definitely does. I, I I think he needs to. He he can instruct people. He can give ideas. He can he can storyboard. No, 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 no. <laughs> Because here's the difference between Kojima and Nomura, and even like people like uh, the guy who created Sonic, right? <laughs> The guy who created Sonic, you know, God God bless him, you know, he contributed a lot to the gaming industry or whatever. And then he made fucking Balan Wonderworld. That fucking thing where there's only one button and it does the same thing as every other button. That's a travesty, right? Uh, Nomura, his stories are just fucking way too stupid. Nobody enjoyed Kingdom Hearts 3. It was like a fucking mess. Uh, Nomura, Nomura Death had Stranding, a good run. Death Stranding is a weird fucking game and it, a lot of people don't like it but that is a like a game that reviewed very well and a very like solid like thing that exists there's artistic merit to the stranding where it there does not exist any artistic merit in fucking kingdom hearts 3 or fucking bal in wonder world you don't think there's no key but you don't think there's artistic merit in uh, final fantasy 7 uh, I mean, I, I think there's a ton. That game's no, great. I, I think there is, but like a lot of that is just groundwork that was already there. Like he's he's just remaking a story that was already great. And in fact, a lot of people have a lot of problems with the, with the additions to that game. So it's like, oh, uh, they're dumb. Those people are stupid. They're well, stupid. I don't know, they're dumb people. But um, but like I I think like I think 
what they did for him on seven was right. They were like, hey, you're involved. You can you can point us around. You're not writing anything. You're not writing anything that happens. You'll just tell us like, hey, would Cloud do this? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, all right, cool. Go back in the shed. Yeah. That's it. Nothing yeah. more because he's old and he's crazy now. The thing with the thing with no, Kojima is that he makes games that like aren't necessarily. I can't. Did you hear Derek? Just Wait, what'd you say, Derek? Sorry. Oh uh, no, I'm just doing. I, I'm like a Limp Bizkit soundboard right now. Like, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just saying. Like, uh, I think the things that Kojima does, like even some of the stuff that like. Like, Metal Gear Solid 4 is a game that I fucking hate. I hate that game. I think that is one of the... I fucking despise it. Right? I, I hate Old Man I Snake. Like, I like 4 more than I like 5. But I like 4 more than I like 5 because at least 4 story is a coherent Metal Gear Solid story. Opposed to mm. 5 story is just a nightmare of a video I just, game. I just don't like playing that game at all. It, it is, like, one of the least fun video games I think I've ever played. But... I, I, I don't, don't like being four. Old Man Snake. It's awful. But you don't like Old Man I hate Snake? being Old Man Snake. I don't like being old man snake. Yeah, I don't like it either. He's fucking not annoying. Physically old though, he just looks old pretty much. Well, he is physically old because he's fucking. That's how his DNA works. But he's not like enabled. Like he's him being old doesn't affect him. He's just still Dude, doing his. Yes, shit. No, 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 it does. It does. Dude, it does. his back fucking hurts. He's still like, doing in the his game. Shit. He's still. He's doing still. But shit. you have to. But you, you understand what I'm saying? About it. it's, it's. I know what you're like saying, a, Derek. It, it, there's it, whatever. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. The 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 the. The experience of constantly having to see old man snake is grating and annoying. I, I, it's, it's, it's like a very unpleasant audio visual treat to constantly have to suffer through. But that's a game. But what I'm saying is like that's a game that I really don't like. But I would say that that is a probably a good video game. You know, like and that that has a lot of merit to it. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Three is a game that I don't like nearly as much as Metal Gear Solid Two. But mm. that game has merit to it. Death Stranding is a game that a lot of people don't like either. But I think that's a game that has a lot of merit to it. Balan Wonderworld <laughs> does not have merit. Go. Can, if I, if go. I'm going to be real, I'm going to be real. I don't think the only good Sonic games are the Sonic games that are on Game Boy Advance and like the first three. Like, there's no Sonic games aren't good video games. Oh wow, that's an interesting take. I I don't I like really, them either. I but. really like Sonic and Knuckles, man. Oh yeah, and that's I, uh, that's that's one of the earlier games. Like, yeah, before I they think, left the, the second I think after Dreamcast, that, it was like, a good d- game franchise. So it was one of the 3D. It needed to stop big. after that. That's what happened that, to that, fucking that, Mega Man listen, X, bro. <laughs> that's what happened to Mega Man X. They fucking did the same fucking thing. Hey, Mega Man X was cool, it. but it made it 3D. <laughs> Then when they did, I was like, "What the fuck?" I played it, and I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" Then they made another one after that. I couldn't believe it. I was like, "Who's buying this shit?" Who Jesus fucking... Christ, really? <laughs> yeah, they, they made an X eight, dude. Like where seven, I played it. And I was like, "Fuck this game." I don't I even like remember seven. if I beat it. So is X is X six? Is X six the one you play at zero? Finally? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's, that's X6. the one I like. That's the one I. Yeah, seven's really when it goes three D, and I'll. I'll and I was like, what the fuck? I was just, it was just so weird. It felt like fucking the Sonic shit. All that. There were so newer many stuff. X games, bro. There were so many Mega Man X games, like repeated, like rapid fire. Dude, I am. Mega, the X4, X5 has one of the best, like, it has, because you fight Zero in it. Mm-hmm. That has, it's, that's the X versus Zero. If you look up that fucking soundtrack, God damn, right. that shit is fucking amazing. Well, just saying. We should get off of this topic because I don't want the Sonic Twitter account coming after us because they're they're <laughs> really vicious. Um, so they can't. I stop think me, we're <laughs> fuck them all up. I think we're I think we're done. I think what we've reached our time. So thank you guys uh, for listening. Mm-hmm. If you like what you heard today, can please consider supporting us over at patreoncom slash tank. One dollar a month gets you early access to every episode and access to bonus solo episodes. Five dollars gets you a question read on the show. Ten dollars gets you access to our Discord server. That's one payment and you're in for good. Twenty-five dollars gets your name dyslexically read at the end of the show, which I will now do. Nikki Ziggy, as always, is for some reason absent. I don't know what's wrong with Patreon, but yeah. So uh, fucking count me in. Three, two, one. Uh, Avi. Uh, I became a patron and spent 25 bucks to tell Sweeney his bisexual slash homosexual hot take is without a doubt the worst take I've ever heard. That's an entire <laughs> person's name. That person, you just pay. 
You just paid me to eat to say that. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh you, my paid, God. you paid my rent saying that. Thank you. I, In you're fairness, right. you're also most, right. Yeah, yeah, most. It turns out most people agree. But you I'm know, wrong. that's in the that. that's you know that's that episode. It's, 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 that it's episode. in the past, baby. What the uh, fuck? You look like you're in a bin of piss. You look like you're in a world of piss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the Derek, piss universe. What are you talking about? Derek Pittsburgh. Daddy protecting my bi ass from the mean sween machine. Duncan, master of all things cute and furry. Funny. Let's go. Uh, wage slave five eight three. The half gay that can only say half the f word. So, uh, uh, does Sandman come sand to avoid unwanted pregnancies dead inside I got it right this time uh, Arcane Furukawa sorry for crashing your Halo 3 customs I just wanted to gravity hammer Jakey Shrinkus Finkeldonk the warlock who is using transversive steps and $25 gets Nikki Ziggy her name right at the end of the show uh, Not Fest <laughs> nice. the Slipknot Fest wait Not Fest is Slipknot Fest it was a furry joke you cretins Listen, I don't know what that means. He who nuts loudest and last ain't right, because united we stand, united we come. The immortal words of the council have come. I challenge the other Connor King to a fight to the death. There can only be one. Paraplegics aren't people because people are bipedal. Roller skater, are uh, the bipolar masturbator. Grubin sucking history's fat cock. I called the Coast Guard to save my anal virginity. Chris Raygun, more like Chris Racism. The Quaalude shot from half court. Ryber 525 Ew. and the mystery of the sudden uptick in tomboy appreciation. Jack King Hoff. Uh, racist snake. Um... <laughs> for my peripheral, I thought you were a Spider-Man villain or something. Derek, that was really, that was really weird. <laughs> Yo, you look terrifying, dude. You it's look so like a deep-fried Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like a deep-fried nightmare. It's Neo, horrible. it's so fucking hot. Neo, Neo help me. I'm fucking crazy, burning. Neo. Neo, you look like, oh my god, you know what you look Neo. like? You look like, that, you look like that scene of uh, fucking, what is it, Arnold's, not Arnold Schwarzenegger, that dude in that in Total Recall when he like goes on the surface of the fucking, of, uh, of Mars or whatever, and his head starts exploding. <laughs> that was fucking I, was it Arnold? Yeah, when, when, his, when his eyes, Arnold. yeah, when his eyes are like, and he's making those retarded noises and shit. Yeah, 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 it's totally him. I don't know. I've never actually seen yeah. that movie. I've only seen that part. If you've seen, uh, have you ever seen a uh, uh, fuck? Uh, Oh my god, I forgot. I keep reading the names. <laughs> <laughs> ten, hours of ten hours of Spawn saying Malboja is a relaxing sound for stress relief meditation, deep sleep. Mal Racist Boja. snake. Uh, <laughs> Dom, I'm squirting Dom. Uh, <laughs> Best name. Ever growing Dom. library of Marasov food porn. Tell him Steve uh, hyphen Dave. Uh, Chris Ray Gunn, more like cringe gay cum. When life gives you cum, make cum an aid. Tuberculorized Arthur Morgan. Andre Brooks, the guy after me is gay. Don't let him tell you otherwise. Not gay Ben. I'm <laughs> sure. not gay. No, really, I'm not. Seriously, I swear to you, I'm not. You have to believe me. Derek would fuck the shit out of God to kill him. Bears, if I was an animal, I'd be a bear. They're cute. They're cute. Uh, dear Lord, I'm going to hell for this. John Strickland, Mercs 1889. Yes, Derek, it counts as bestiality if you want to fuck Tali Zora. When in doubt, splooge it out. The first church of Keith David, renegade highway tires just want to hug your face at high velocity. Uh, Sammy and his big titty fishy. Ever since I can remember, I've been popping my cala, popping, popping my cala. Uh, drunken Doolahan, <laughs> free rise. Great name. <laughs> free rise. You guys see my teeth. You guys see my teeth. <laughs> you guys just, see my teeth. <laughs> oh my God. You look uh, like uh, racism. You look like the Little Nightmares game. Uh, Doug, <laughs> Doug Dim a dumbass. A tiny ape. Asian whose cock is massive in relation to his body but small in relation to regular sized people uh come man small the man of come blake 896 um ba -ba 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 downed uncle ben uh down <laughs> un downed uncle ben has the martyrdom perk <laughs> oh my god fuck can you imagine uncle ben yo can you imagine uncle ben dies in spider-man and his uh, grenade falls out of his pocket <laughs> And kills everyone. <laughs> that would have been oh amazing. My God, just more he mutual destruction. Peter. He kills Peter when he's fucking Uncle Ben. Peter. Um, <laughs> Peter. I'm sorry, Peter. I forgot to unequip martyrdom, Peter. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. As soon as he says that, he blows up. I'm not Remember leaving your side, Uncle Ben. That's not real. That's Call of Duty. You've been playing Call of Duty for too long. He croaks. A grenade rolls out of his hoodie. <laughs> he doesn't have the time. He doesn't have the time to fix the world. He's like, oh no, I can't dodge all the stratnel. <laughs> stratnel. He died. Shrapnel of strategies. Uh, the epic Ashuat. Uh, fucking kill me. Hey boss announces. Uh, Lamau, I caused the slick spick to do a gamer rage on camera. LMAO, this shit was funny. I'm starting a new sentence. Uh, Ryan Lucchesi. Uh, Chris, I can't live outside of a city. I'm a city slicker Maldonado, sloshy scout, Atra Sony. Uh, this kingdom is, this is my kingdom come. This is my kingdom come. Kingdom Tom Sweeney, the atrocious alien fucker, and uh, Keith David's 
Golden Boys. If Tom Sweeney, if Tom Boy Sweat was a type of beverage, I'd order several barrels. Hard Hat oh Skydiver. Yabba Dabba Domestic Abuse. Alaskan Oilfield Trash. Debunking Wyverns. <laughs> Marcus Shorten. Um, Queen Elizabeth's Crystal Clean <laughs> Vagine. I Live for Your Piss, Chris. Murder Ascended. Mm. Keith David, The Dyslexic That Feels Chris's Pain. Welcome to the New Age, the, to the New Age Chris Radioactive Cover NFT coming soon. Um, <laughs> Lobotomize Jesus, patron saint of pillow humpers. Uh, the only stick I touch while driving is my penis. Parentheses, I masturbate while driving. Hiroshima Spicy Mushroom, Derek Pilot, future Blizzard CEO. Uh, Dummy Thick Dave, what Heartless up? Wretch, a.k.a. the idiot who spent four hours trying to find clips of Full Metal Sheen. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. That's a pretty nice cock. Ramsey ramming a Remington into his own mouth. Um, yummy, yummy, yummy. Come inside my tummy. Jackson Absage, Badly Brave, Hugger Derek, the movie theater manager. Aetherian, Chris Gate, my Patrician hunting ass. All hands on dick. Melvis 1, LQ LeBron, Richter 86. And as always, rounding out our list, the king of haphazard. Of haphazard. King of haphazard. That's the everybody. The mighty. The so, mighty one. The mighty one. Thanks again for all of your support. We uh, really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, niggas. Um, Nigga. And uh, hopefully this episode makes up for last episode. <laughs> I think we have a... I think this one was a pretty fun one. I think this is ridiculous. Really this is a ridiculous episode. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if it's... I don't know if it beats Marcus Phoenix squirting up a storm, but... <laughs> yeah. I'm squirting! <laughs> that that might be the best thing iconic. that's come out of this podcast in a while, but... Yeah, thanks for, I don't thanks know if for we your need support. some Marcus Phoenix squirting shirts. I think we yeah. need that new merch. Let's yeah. not do that. Let's oh, get on, uh, all the best artists to collaborate on just a big mural of <laughs> Marcus Phoenix. I, I, you think if we could get... You think we get Lush Sucks? Lush, 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 Lush oh sucks my god. It. <laughs> We probably could. He probably. I, I do. I will. I'll fucking DM him. I will. Let's, I will let's, fucking yeah. DM him. Let's put a. Let's put a. Uh, what what is it called? A Kickstarter together. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Just I'm fucking down. Squirting. <laughs> he would right, probably guys. dom. I'm squirting. I think he would actually do it though. Yeah, I think he would. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. All right. Peace. Peace out. I can't stop squirting, dom. Dom, kill your girl so we can be together and you can make me squirt. <laughs>